Hey everybody, what's going on? Rob Cicerino back for a tradition that is now five uh, times old as we are going to be talking about the stars of 2023 here with Mr. BS. Give it up for Mike. Bloom. Yes, here I am. Hopefully, bringing the Riz to another Brand Steel podcast. Rob, your boy math is correct. We've been doing this for five years. We've officially yeah, reached the, a milestone. The, see, this is where my head, uh, the math ain't math in for me. Uh, this is the fifth time that we have done this, yeah. uh, but it was four years ago that we started doing this. It was, uh, I remember it well. You and I were together in person mm -hmm. in December of 2019. Uh, so we did the best of 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. Here we are for the fifth time, but it was yes. only four years ago. It was only four years ago, but it is our fifth time. And but it's here, just our fifth time. Just our fifth time. Uh, so we're not doing anything special. I would say no returnees, but come on, you know, there's going to be at least a couple, uh, one particular one. So this is always such an exciting occasion. Uh, this is very much turned into a sort of like, look back on the year from a pop cultural lens. So in case this is your first foray into this chaotic wackadoo exercise here, basically what Rob and I have been doing for the past half decade now is that we take some of the biggest characters, celebrities, things, memes, concepts, etc., put them into a brand steel simulation of mm -hmm. a reality TV show. And we see what happens when they fight against each other in pursuit of no money at the end of the day, Dogecoin, if you will. Okay. Yes. And so we have a storied history of doing this. Uh, this is going to be a big brother season that we are going to be uh, simulating here today. We started with a big brother season back in 2019. And Mike, I know that you are a survivor historian, but also a Brant Steel historian. Have we done Big Brother since 2019? Yes. So we did Big Brother last year as well. The two years uh, before that, we put them into Survivor tribes. And so there's going to be a bit more Big Brother energy going on. Uh, there's going to be perhaps some Big Brother bad blood, if you will, getting brought in as well from last year. So there's a little bit of like the challenge mixed in as well. But there was also one very particular reason we wanted to do Big Brother, not just because of the milestone that it hit with its 25th, 25th season, but we're going to have a good time. I think also if you are a connoisseur of brand seals, or if you, even if you just fancied into that spectacular website, you know that there is an ability to customize house events uh, that occur throughout the season in the interactive template. And so another great thing about Big Brother is that it allows us to, yes, not every of the voluminous amounts of suggestions I got on Twitter slash X, because that happened this year. Remember yep. that. They will not all be included, unfortunately, for various reasons. We try to represent as much malarkey that went down in the past 365 days within the Big Brother season with not only the house guests themselves, but also some events that might refer to some things that we experienced as humankind over the past year. Okay. And once again, this is all in the nature of fun. This is a historical exercise to talk about some of the wildest things from 2023. Just as a general rule, uh, we try not to uh, bring in anything particularly serious into our brand steel. Mike, you solicit these suggestions for weeks Coming into this, how did we make the final cut? Yeah, so again, what we sort of put into the cast is a sort of mixture of people, whether they be real or fictional. Uh, any sort of famous thing that happened could be a meme, could be a an object, even as we saw with the famous Popeye's chicken sandwich that happened back in the first year that we did this. Sometimes we even just included concepts in there if we felt they were material enough to be a part of this cast. So that being said, you know, if we ever needed a sign, Rob, that the beautiful community that we have cultivated is so reality TV coded, we should look at the fact that when I called for solicitations, uh, I was given many suggestions of reality TV stars, reality TV moments over the year. Now, look, I'm perhaps uh, revealing a bit too much when I say there may be some reality TV representation of this mm -hmm. cast. That being said, the cast is going to reflect more of a general scope 
of pop culture in general for the year. So it's not going to be filled with like the best reality TV stars facing off against each other. We'll save that for the trader season two in a couple weeks. Okay. All right. So we're about to introduce our cast. Mike, I was thinking maybe the best way to do this. Uh, could you give us a sentence or two about each of these participants? And then I'll bring the full cast uh, out onto the stage before they enter the big brother house. And also this is, Completely interactive. We're live here on Wednesday yeah. here on the 27th. So if you're in the chat, please, we'd love to get your commentary, uh, comment, tweet. You're part of this. We are live right Blue now. Blue Sky it, Mastodon it, all the other third party social media apps. Right. Okay. All right, Mike. Uh, let's go. All right. Uh, yeah. We have... Entering the uh, Big Brother house, okay? Just back to normal after Reindeer Games. Completely decked out in yes. th themed for 2023. Mike, can you just paint the picture? Give us the house tour of what this 2023 themed house looks like. It's the most secular house constructed in Big Brother history. Uh, yeah, I mean... I think there's just all sorts of random decor, even more so than the multiverse concept, because multiverses have now been officially killed by Big Brother 25 in many ways. I think we're going to find, you know, an Oppenheimer room. There's a Barbie room. They're wow. right next to each other for whatever reason to really show that discrepancy. There's going to be one room that's just entirely themed off of the Grimace Shake, which is just covered in purple splotches all over the place. We're really trying to invoke... That everything that 2023 had to offer. Okay. All right. And of course, Mike. there's all the Panera lemonade on, on <laughs> tap that you can get. Okay. All right, Mike. So why don't you, uh, let's, let's walk through uh, these uh, 16 players. Okay. Well, let's start actually with uh, what I just lampshaded in that previous comment with the decor. The reason why they prepared such disparate rooms is because we're not just getting Barbie. We're not just getting Oppenheimer. They paired them together with that ominous release day. And so we are doing it as well. Barbenheimer is playing as one player. Okay. Now, is this going to be like a twin twist where Barbie comes out, Oppenheimer comes in? Yeah, I think we should 100% do that. I think it should be <laughs> some weeks are Barbie's weeks, some weeks are Oppenheimer's week. And so then we're going to have Barbie and Oppenheimer fill each other in in the DR as they switch out clothes, even though they don't need to. Nobody's really pretending that one is the other. Okay. All right, Mike, who else is here? All right. So next up after that, we have our first returnee of this season. She was evicted in fifth place last year after going on a comp run. But we know you can't break her soul after the Renaissance tour and subsequent film coming out this year. Beyonce is back for more. Okay. All right. Uh, so we'll see if this will be a, a Renaissance for a Beyonce here competing. How many competitions, uh, best of the year competitions has Beyonce participated in? So I believe last year was only the first one that she had oh, participated in. Seems like uh, an oversight. Yeah, I mean, listen, Beyonce has certainly been putting out content, but last year was a big one. And this year arguably was even bigger, considering that she put out a concert and subsequent film of said concert as well. And again, she certainly comes in with a bit of an axe to grind. She made it really far in her first cutting in our brain steel yeah. simulations. And she's here to make second time the charm. Okay. These are in alphabetical order. I yes. will also add no particular order other than alphabetical. Okay. All right. Uh, Mike, who else is coming in? Let's talk about the reason why we made this a Big Brother simulation, Rob. Because, again, we do not include reality TV people in this usually. We will make exceptions, though. We had to make an exception for this person, considering if you're looking at the scope of reality TV in 2023... In my opinion, it was all about her, considering she made up our beginning and like our middle to end, our Q2 and Q3 to Q4 of 2023. Sari Fields, I'm so sorry. We are sending you back into the Big Brother house. She's not going to like that. She's not going <laughs> to like that. She could self-evict. As soon as that door closes, she might run back out. Um, she's she's going to look in that Grimace Shake Infused room and say, clean that up a little bit. It's like I thought this was Traders All-Stars. Yeah, I didn't exactly. know what this was. This is entrapment. I need to mm -hmm. call my lawyer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Suri is here. All right, Mike, who else is here? All right. Well, coming from uh, 
one of a couple actually very viral movies that happened this year. If you hear that growling in the distance, it's not my stomach. It's Cocaine Bear. Yes, Jackson Mickey is back to play. Oh, no, sorry. That's actually the titular role from the apparently true story about a bear that ingested a kilo of cocaine and went on a rampage. Okay, have we had a wild, drug-fueled animal in the uh, end-of-year brand steals yet before? Oh, well, we had Joe Exotic on a few years ago. <laughs> Okay, Cocaine Bear, Barbenheimer, Beyonce, Sari, Cocaine Bear. Who else you got, Mike? Well, obviously from the entertainment industry, this was a banner year. We were struck by a strike, by the biggest entertainment strike in the industry's history as the WGA and SAG-AFTRA both went on strike for a significant portion of the year. So we wanted that represented, even though it was obviously a very starkly serious subject. If you look at the president of SAG-AFTRA, and you realize that the nanny became the voice of the entire Hollywood proletariat for the better part of a year. Fran Drescher is the best voice and memorable voice, I think, memorable put, as, voice. as the head yeah. of the strikes this year. Okay. All right. Fran Drescher, welcome to the best of 2023. Okay. Mike, who else? Okay. Let's get back on the exceptions train here because... Usually, every single year, we have like one really hard and fast mm -hmm. rule. No politics. Uh, people want to obviously divest their minds from a lot of very serious stuff going on in the world. Let's not bring that type of energy in here. But once in a lifetime, there comes a particular individual that defies any sort of serious aspect that can come with the nature of Made politics. for reality TV. This guy makes Raven Walton look like <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. It is the uh, recently deposed Congress member, George Santos. George Santos, uh, that he is on a media tour. And while he has absolutely no fans in the political world. Uh, well, he has only fans. You should yes. check what he does with that donor money. <laughs> yes. Uh, has made many fans in the outside of politics world. And so uh, George Santos seems destined for Big Brother eventually. Yeah, I, I think so. Like if if we are setting up George Santos for Celebrity Big Brother 4, I'm so sorry for normalizing this, but we got to strike while the iron is hot. Mm -hmm. All right. Then, um, Mike, who else do we have? All right, so coming up next, uh, we move from one gay icon to maybe another. Uh, let's talk about the man behind the aforementioned milkshake trend. He recently celebrated a 52nd birthday in style by accidentally, apparently fictionally killing a bunch of people on TikTok. Grimace is here representing those infamous golden arches and hoping that'll give him a golden trophy at the end of it. Okay, Grimace joins the best of 2023 uh, Brant Steele. Mike, who's next? All right, so moving on from Grimace, uh, we go to another meme here. Now, this is interesting. Uh, this guy popped up everywhere, but not for anything he did recently. More so something he did, I would say, roughly 20 years ago that people only recently discovered. But we are including... Very specifically, the image from Getty Images of Kevin James posing for the King of Queens shoot with his hands in his pockets and his shoulders shrugged and that half smile. I believe we're going by Sheepish Kevin James. This is official... Sheepish Kevin James is here and uh, might, might do something. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to have him in that swing vote position. You <laughs> never know which way he's going to go. He doesn't give a lot away. That, that Those eyes contain multitudes. Yeah, okay. There are many queens that are here in the best of 2023 brand steel, but uh, will there be a king of queens? We shall see if he can deliver the goods, much like Dove Hefferman does on the show proper. Yes, yes. Okay. All right, who's next, Mike? All right, so believe it or not, Megan was this year. Uh, yeah. The viral trailer came out at the end of last year, and she was, in my opinion, the first one that was locked in to come onto this cast, considering how many people flocked to her. Unfortunately, Rob, your Watch beloved... Watch out, Chenbot. 
Yeah, unfortunately, your beloved AI was not really represented this year. I think Megan is the closest to it, considering that she is yeah. that cautionary tale of what happens when uh, when AI goes rogue and learns the entire catalog of Rihanna songs. Okay, sounds good. All right, who's next, Mike? All right, so we move from a mother to father here. <laughs> this guy had a big year as serving as a protector of multiple youths. Of course, he returned in season three of The Mandalorian, taking care of a multiple brain steel contender, Baby Yoda, who has stayed off the ballot this year, but then also earned many accolades as a part of The Last of Us, which was also this year, believe it or not, pre premiered in January Pedro Pascal makes okay. his brand steel debut. PP always pulls through. Uh, <laughs> now, it, he uh, this was a first for Pedro Pascal. He is not. It was the Mandalorian? Uh, did he or he was only Baby Yoda? I mean, listen, Din Djarin, and I say this as a Star Wars lover and someone who covered the show, like is maybe one of the most boring characters on the show. Oh! Like, big main character energy. So I'm ready for Pedro to prove me wrong here. You know the man contains multitudes he's having a year and so he's on to represent the year okay all right here's pedro pascal okay who's next all right so we move to another meme here back in i think it was the fall or maybe late summer a video went viral of a young woman processing down the aisle of an american airlines flight declaring that she cannot stay on the plane because that mother effer back there is not real, but her chances of winning might be. It is the plain lady. Yeah. Um, we have found out uh, that M. Effer she was talking about was Grimace. Yes, exactly. And technically, she's correct, even though he was quite corporeal. I think she was referring to, like, does he have a background? Where are his parents? Where's the birth certificate? Yeah. Okay. Plain lady is here. Yes, yeah, so we'll see if she takes flight in the game or if it gets grounded. Yes, okay. All right, uh, five more people coming in. Who's next, Mike? Well, Rob, you're going to have to make a lot of room here because we're not just bringing in one person. We're bringing in thousands, hundreds of thousands. To be honest, I don't think about them a lot, including the numbers. But today, we're going to be thinking and talking a lot mm -hmm. about the Roman Empire. <laughs> All right, the Roman Empire. We'll see uh, if they are due for a fall or if Rome uh, could be built in a day. Either way, we will spend time today thinking about the Roman Empire. Yes, uh, I'm very excited about it. Of course, this, this was... brand steel is our Roman Empire. Exactly. Uh, it's something that I certainly think about at least once a day. So now I finally understand the meme. Yeah. All right. Mike, who else is here? Okay. You knew it was going to happen. We cannot have these brand steals seemingly without the one, the only, hopefully in her winter era of her era's tour, Taylor Swift is back. Wow, baby. what a way to cap the year for Taylor. If she could, after being 0 for 4, come out on top at the end of year brand steal, a staple of the best of the year. Yeah, so just to go through the history and not to, you know, make Taylor have to relive Her bad errors. memories. Uh, yeah, so we have 2019. Of course, she was on the first year dressed up as a cat. Also, she posed. She was the Time Person of the Year this year, and she posed on the cover of Time with a cat. So I think she was already jockeying for those Joker mm -hmm. updates numbers. Yep. Uh, but she got evicted in a seventh place uh, with the tie broken by Pedro Pascal's confidant, Baby Yoda. 2020, she made it all the way to the final three and got one vote, losing out to Carol Baskin and the eventual <laughs> season winner, Quibi. <laughs> 2021 was the most scathing to be yes. a Swifty. Taylor Swift got voted out in 12th place with an idol in her pocket. Oh, my God. And then last year, Taylor made it to ninth place and here is where some fun drama gets involved rob because taylor swift won head of household once in that season with that hoh she nominated beyonce i think it was like the second or third of many times she was going like that over the course of that season beyonce survived and then it She's wasn't beyonce. It, and then the next week Taylor was nominated by uh, the girl explaining meme and Beyonce was one of the deciding votes to send her home. So suffice it to say, 
even though there's no smoke between them considering their competitive concert films and tours, there's going to be some stuff here in this brand steel world. Okay. All right. Taylor Swift. Welcome back. Okay. Mike, three more people. All right, so we are uh, doing a Tom double here. We're going with the mm -hmm. Tom Toms, waiting for some directions to see who will take it to the final two. It might be these two guys. Let's start with Tom Sandoval, him of Vanderpump Rules and subsequent Fox reality TV yep. show PR makeup fame. Uh, obviously, the centerpiece of Scandoval, the thing that rocked the pop culture world of this scandal that erupted between himself and his fellow Vanderpump Rules, then partner Ariana Maddox. So we shall see, you know, if he's kept the mustache and if he's kept up that CD reputation or if he's truly trying to clean up his image. Okay. All right. Sandoval is here. Yeah, I am very excited for this because this dude is arguably besides Sari, the most seasoned reality TV veteran. We saw Jax Taylor, uh, you know, make similar splashes in terms of Vanderpump on House of Villains. So we'll see exactly how Sandoval wants to be represented here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And with Tom Sandoval, there's always another Tom. Yes, exactly. And we have one here. Now, of course, Succession, one of the most critically hailed dramas of our time, finished its fourth and final season at the beginning of this year. Now, we went back and forth behind the scenes, much like the people behind Waystar Royco. Who would be the representative? Who would be the spokesperson, to quote Laurie from Big Brother 3? Ultimately, we decided on... Spoiler alert for Succession for, I guess, the entirety of this podcast, just so everyone knows. We will yeah. not relent here. The eventual new CEO of Waystar Royco, I will put out my hand so Tom Wamsgans will accept it. Yeah, I think we went in a lot of different directions. I think there was talk about Logan. There was mm -hmm. talk about Kendall. I think maybe there might have even been uh, a... Roman uh, and maybe playing as the Roman Empire. I mean, and... I do think I think Roman Roy represented a lot of like hedonistic tendencies that the Roman Empire had. Whenever there's those poses of like him slunk in his chair, I'm just imagining someone from the elite sitting there. Eating yeah, grapes. there was Shiv talk, but Tom won. It was Tom's year. Yeah, exactly. Tom was able to get through at the end of the day. Uh, you know, he'll be interesting. He's a daddy to be. He'll be competing against actual daddy. So we'll see if he's able to pull through. I mean, regardless, if he needs to like rustle up votes, he can get Darwin to declare that he's AFP even before <laughs> all the votes have come in. Okay. All right. So yeah, pull up a lemon LaCroix and uh, <laughs> wipe the wasabi off your hands. Let's get ready. Yes, exactly. No bodega sushi, Mr. B, okay? Go with some high-quality stuff. Okay, and one last person here. Yes, so this is going to be very fun because Taylor Swift is back for a fifth time, but much like Sari came back with a bit of added pressure with someone that she cares about playing alongside her, we decided to give Taylor Swift that extra challenge as well mm -hmm. as we're tossing a ball into the house and hoping that he does a better job catching it than some of the Kansas City Chiefs receivers as of late. Travis Kelsey, get out of the Olive Garden and get into the Big Brother house. <laughs> okay, I mean, big year for him in terms of endorsements. Won a Super Bowl he also Super in Bowl 2023. Yeah, let's remember that. The Super Bowl was back in February and he won his second Super Bowl. Like this, this is, regardless of the Taylor Swift bump, this was a big year for him. Center of a lot of attention. So let's welcome everybody here to the stage as uh, we bring out the cast of our best of 2023, Brant Steele. Oh, they're so weird, Rob. I love it. Okay. All right. 16 players going in. And so, Mike, are we ready to see what happens? I am so ready to open these doors and close them and lock these people in there and not talk to them until they get evicted. Okay. And I'm sorry if your favorites did not make the cut. We spent a lot of time, weeks, uh, getting ready for this. And so uh, we are sorry, that, but you never know. Look, there's always 2024. Yeah. Uh, quick, uh, people, throw out your winner predictions in the chat. I want to see who we think is going to be able to take it home at the end of the day. Okay. All right. Mike and I, of course, we do not know the outcome of this. Uh, we are very involved, Mike specifically, in getting all of this ready. But 
we do not know any spoilers of what's to come. And so we will be as surprised as you are as uh, we react to all of this all right yes, uh, i got some also some some stuff about where was elon musk unfortunately he was cast but we hit rate limit exceeded and so mm. unfortunately he had to get cut here yeah okay uh he did get to play as one of the space billionaires uh, a couple won. years ago he also yeah. did play the previous year as yeah. well so mike who are the uh, uh the winners of the past seasons right so 2019 of course our inaugural winner was lizzo Yep. The year after that was the aforementioned Quibi, who beat mm -hmm. Taylor Swift in the finals. Then Billionaires in Space came after that with, with Elon and Jeff Bezos. And then last year, Will Smith slapped the competition to wow. take home the win. So nowhere to go but up in terms of winner reputation. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, really, all of our winners have shared some sort of controversy. Of course. You can't make this <laughs> list without it. Yeah. Okay, so there is some slight uh, shared DNA between all of our winners that all of them have had some sort of controversy. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, twenty. Yeah. yeah, our 2019 winner definitely did not have a great 2023. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Uh, let's proceed along. Okay, day one. Got Whoa! some alliances going on in the house. Woo! We got some, like, Izzy energy right now with the hyper gaming right off the bat, and it makes sense considering that we have quite a hyperactive bear in our midst so day one there is maybe the most masculine alliance in the entire house being formed right now between cocaine bear pedro pascal and the roman empire i do believe in the roman empire they actually did do bear baiting which is uh where they had Excuse bears me? in the coliseum that dogs would fight and bear baiting i think is also what people do when they watch pedro pascal as well so it all connects There's another alliance. <laughs> and we got a final two with Pedro Pascal in the Roman yes. Empire. Okay. Uh, oh, here's one. Okay. Uh, oh. Suri and Taylor. Ah, uh, and the internet has just combusted. A la Oppenheimer, the bomb was dropped at mm -hmm. this moment. Suri Fields and Taylor Swift working together. Their fan base is deciding not to work against each other, but together. Okay. All right. Uh, another alliance here is oh my formed. God. Okay. Another four person alliance Fran Drescher, Pedro Pascal. Okay. He's an actor. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Plain Lady and the Roman Empire. I mean, Plain Lady knows how to spot people who are being real. So I think she targeted them being like, no one will suspect I'm working with the people who are playing not yeah. real people. And the Roman Empire is very much in the past. Right now, Pedro Pascal, he is working hard. Uh, not only is he in so many shows, uh, but, you know, Taryn would be happy. Very proud of Pedro Pascal, has really uh, working to get into a lot of alliances here in week one. Oh, yeah. He would rate very high on the stock watch. Okay. All right. So that's where we are after just a couple of moments in the Big Brother house. Okay. Uh, let's move along to our first HOH competition. <laughs> Go fly a kite. House guests uh, see a long spinning pole in which they must stand on while holding a kite. Okay. Uh, First person out of our first HOH competition is George Santos. Which is odd because he claims he's related to Benjamin Franklin. And so Kite <laughs> runs in his lineage. Yes. Uh, he was also the first one out of Congress uh, this season. So. <laughs> I thought it was going to be Kevin McCarthy for a while, but he sort of like Emily Flippin style stayed. Yeah, he hung around. All right. So let's go around. And then so we get down to our top three. We don't need to get into uh, how every single person did. We can skip ahead. OK, the competition. Look at Sari in the top Finally, three of the she competition. Got to, she got to do in CrossFit when she left the Big Brother house. Along with Pedro Pascal and Tom Wamsgans. And our first HOH is going to be Sari. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are we sure this is still 2023? Oh my god, it's Suri. Maybe maybe Jag is doing Suri drag and yes. just like uh okay. trying to equitable comps. Here they yeah. are. The reindeer Listen. games crew. Uh, they're gonna let them cook. <laughs> uh this is how we know it's a simulation, by the way. <laughs> okay. All right. So Suri comes back into the Big Brother house and suddenly win beats out 15 other players to become the first HOH of a brand new season. Okay. First Suri HOH of the year <laughs> coming in. Here we go. The first All competition right. Suri has won in like 15 years. 
All right. So Sari has to uh, come up with two nominees. And uh, let's see what Sari is thinking. Uh, we got to think that Taylor is going to be safe. But uh, Sari's nominees are going to be... Oh, Pedro <laughs> Pascal is playing so hard. <laughs> Sari... <laughs> She's not going to miss that, okay? No, nope, absolutely not. Oh, Pedro this is, Pascal and the Roman Empire. This Have is, a seat. This is such Jessica Milagros energy. I love it. If like, I'm going for the big boys right now. There's an entire Roman phalanx that's standing there, and nobody's talking about them. Okay. All right. So, wow. So, HOH number one is Suri nominates uh, Roman and Pedro Pascal. Okay. All right. So, Mike, as our week is going along, uh, we're going to see who plays in the veto competition. All right. All right. Our first veto is coming up. Sari draws a Barbenheimer to play in veto number one. <laughs> Roman Empire has selected House Guest Choice and has chosen Cocaine Bear. They have an alliance, right? I, I mean, I think Cocaine Bear has to be the odds on comp beast, quite literally, this season, right? <laughs> like, nothing can beat a jacked up bear on cocaine. It's good. Yeah, it's a marathon, market. not a sprint. <laughs> I guess so, but that movie was not necessarily a sprint either. Yeah. Cocaine Bear uh, is part of uh, the house guests that stay up late every single night. Yeah, I don't think he ever sleeps. <laughs> hibernates all day. Hibernate, wait for the winter when Big Brother's not on to hibernate. <laughs> okay, and then Pedro Pascal uh, has uh, drawn Tom Wamsgams. Okay, so. We're gonna have our first power okay. veto. It's a good, it's a good draw for Pedro. I will say, not great that he's up against one of his tightest allies, but he's in an alliance with both Cocaine Bear and Tom. Tom okay. W. All right. So, um, our power veto competition. Uh, Pedro Pascal is already out. Our top three is gonna be Suri, Tom, and the Roman Empire. And the power of veto winner is. Tom Wong. Oh, look at this. Do you think okay. it was one of the? I think it was um one. You know how they did the gross drink and reindeer games? It was a wine identification competition, and we know Tom is a connoisseur of those <laughs> fruit wines, and he knew exactly where they came from. Okay, do we think that Tom Wom's games will use the power of veto? I think it really depends if he feels like Pedro can be his Greg, you know, someone that he oh. feels like he can utilize as a piece. If he said, "I will castrate you and marry you, Pedro Pascal," which who among us hasn't, I think he could make the move. We know that Tom is certainly capable yeah. of betraying. But we also know that Tom does not like to upset the apple cat. Uh, uh -huh. That he... That mother probably... effer is not even a real phrase. Yeah. He's going to probably be sucking up to the power in the house, right? Like he's probably oh, going yeah. to be getting in close to Sari. Oh, Sari has such great Logan Roy energy. I yes. think that Tom would fall right in line with that. I mean, Tom, I mean, I was watching the live feeds and he was like going up asking, like, what do you think Sari thinks about me? Do you think that she thinks that I'm like kind of like endgame material? <laughs> do you think that she thinks, did she say anything about me? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting considering that the other Tom is a worm with a mustache because Tom Wamsgans is the wormier person, in my opinion. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go to our veto ceremony. Uh, what is Tom going to do with the power of veto? Tom will not mm. use the power of veto. Ceres like, I will be angry if you do that. Yeah, the fence sitter will continue to maintain that position until it becomes advantageous to him. Don't want to ruffle or rustle any feathers at this moment. And so it is going to be one of either Roman Empire or Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal could Brian Hart himself out of the game here. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's check out what's going on in the house. Oh, no. here, right. All right. Here we go. Got to see what's happening. Okay. So. We've got, we're going to start off with a little bit of action uh, happening with uh, Travis Kelsey uh, did the thing. Yes, this is, of course, a reference to uh, Angela Bassett did the thing, the infamous Ariana DeBose BAFTA performance that still makes little to no sense almost a year later. Travis Kelsey did the thing. I think that's sort of a reason as well as to why people found him and Taylor Swift were compatible for each other. Okay. He did not do the thing with Taylor Swift, right? Well, listen, uh, that's between the two of them. That will then be explained in Taylor's Can subsequent we, songs yeah, like three years later. The, like, uh, have the Clorox wipes been moved? <laughs> no, it's, uh, Travis got, got all of those, like, uh, uh, all those, like, Pfizer wipes that you get after mm -hmm. you get your vaccine, all those, like, sanitary wipes that you use to clean the site of, it, of injection, and you use that to wipe it up. Okay. All right. So after that, we have Cocaine Bear did something. Cocaine Bear 
earn sympathy around the house when they reveal that they were supposed to be on the Titan submersible for its final voyage. Oh my God. I mean, I think that would have been a disaster. Even I mean, more, so. I, mean I don't know who dodged the bullet more, <laughs> cocaine bear or the guys in the submersible. Yeah, I don't think they would have gotten in the water. I think they would have gotten killed by the fact that there was a cocaine filled bear on a submersible with yeah, them. That, that's a really small space. I mean, if you think the Big Brother house is claustrophobic. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is going to be the ultimate form of cabin fever where you know what cocaine bear does to cabins. Yeah. Wow. I hope people open up to the cocaine bear after he tells that story. Yeah, he really left himself vulnerable. Mm hmm. Okay. Then. All right. We have Tom Sandoval. He's informed his relatives are currently stranded at Burning Man, and he they, they vow to use their winnings to help fund the rescue. All right, well, so Tom Sandoval is playing for a pretty noble cause. He doesn't need the money. What's he mm -hmm. doing? If his relatives are stranded at Burning Man, it's their own damn fault. You know why? Because they want to get away from him and all the PR that's affiliated with having the same last name as this man. Okay. So, a lot of stuff going on in the house. Nothing really about the vote, though. No, nothing about the vote at the moment. So a lot is up in the air here. Pedro Pascal does have more protection around him. He has his hands in a lot of different pots. But the question is, will that pottery get shattered, much like the Roman Empire thousands of years ago? All right. So Roman Empire and Pedro Pascal are going to uh, vote. And so uh, let's we're going to get the votes is one by one. I mean, we could do one yeah. by one or we could just fast forward. Yeah, I think we this. could proceed. Okay. All right. Let's All right. see. So let's find out what happens. And we'll do like one by one voting as we get down to. There's 13 uh, people voting right yeah. now. You saw how that dragged on. You need a running bit of calling Julie Chen Moonves exquisite to make these eviction shows any exciting. Okay. By a vote of eight to oh. five. Split house, Mike. Let's people see. aren't just voting with the house. Okay. By a vote of eight to five. The Roman Woo! Empire has been evicted. Okay, Pedro Pascal, he's able to avoid a week one disaster. And it's interesting because I believe Taylor Swift pulled out a violin a la Nero and played it as the Roman Empire exited en masse. They built the roads to lead them right out of the Big Brother house. Okay, um, Mike, did we hear from the other house guests what they think about the Roman Empire? Uh, so they definitely, I think the problem was they didn't have a great social game, not only because there are so many of them and they made yep. the entire state of the house look like a pigsty. You know, they invented plumbing, but you couldn't tell from the way they were using that bidet. They tried to turn it into a freaking aqueduct. But also simultaneously, I think they didn't like thinking about them constantly. I know that Pedro game too hard, too fast, but the Roman Empire seemed to live rent-free, in particular the heads of the male house guests. And so they decided... That was way too dangerous. And so by a vote of V-I-I-I -I -I to V, <laughs> they've been evicted. Yeah. Uh, Redmond says Rome wasn't built in a day, but it was evicted in a week. Okay. Yeah, I love that. Also, uh, just a plug. Be sure to uh, check out what David Bloomberg and Ovi have to say this weekend about the fall of Rome. <laughs> Yes, they'll bring on an actual historian who has no idea what's going on. Much like it's actually interesting, much like a lot of Survivor fans were brought onto Big Brother for the first time this year because of Suri. A lot of Roman historians started watching Big Brother for the first time because the Roman Empire was participating. Yeah, they were interested. Okay. So, Mike, week one is in the books. We're there down we to go. just 15. In the history books, and the Roman Empire is ancient history at this point, as Pedro Pascal survived by the skin of his beautiful teeth. And we'll see if all the roads that he personally built will not lead to Rome. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, proceed with our week two HOH. Uh, tension in the house is we had the split vote uh there were five votes to end up uh keeping the roman empire and uh there those people are going to be on the outs yeah well we know that rome was ruled by sort of a democratic council and so those elders got deposed in a manner of speaking we'll see if they can survive in the remnants of their civilization all right so here's where we have our alliances uh still okay cocaine bear and uh pedro pascal uh they still have an alliance uh Suri and taylor Okay, and then we have this now three-person alliance, which is Fran Drescher, Pedro Pascal, and Plain Lady. Also, by the way, in one vote, we already had more 
votes in the minority than the entirety of Big Brother 25. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sari wasn't messing around. Did not put a pawn up. Uh, put up uh, Pedro Pascal and is number one. Well, we know the first HOH dictates the tone of the house. So, like, why do you need a pawn in week one? Mm -hmm. All right. So, here we go. HOH competition. Uh, George Santos <laughs> is out first once again. Math Catalan. Well, we know that he has some trouble with numbers. Mm hmm Okay. Our top three, three not eligible to compete. We have Sheepish Kevin James, Grimace, and Taylor Swift. Okay. If Taylor and Swift wins this, it could be a good week for Sari again. Our second HOH is going to be Grimace, the new head of household. There's going to be so much McDonald's up in that HOH room. It's just going to be all McDonald's. They're going to turn into a ball pit like Big Brother and Canada 9. Let's see, Mike, if Grimace wants to shake up the house. Let's see. Yes. Uh, well, we know that things are in a bit of a chaotic state right now, but Grimace is going to shake that up and hopefully produce something colorful and delicious. Okay. All right. So let's see what Grimace wants to do uh, with the nominations. We really have no idea where Grimace could go. Uh, we don't know what side of the vote Grimace was on. I'm doing Grimace... what's best for Grimace. <laughs> Okay, here is uh, Grimace, and uh, the nominees are Tom Sandoval and George Santos. Get all these controversial MFers out of here. <laughs> We're running a clean house this season. All right. So, yeah, uh, Scandoval and uh, a sc scandal guy. They're birds of a feather, brothers in arms. Yes. Okay. So Tom Sandoval and uh, George Santos. Okay. Let's see uh, who is going to play in our veto. Grimace draws Kevin James to participate. Sheepish Kevin James. I feel like Kevin James. Three. Kevin James is so Grimace coded. Like if mm -hmm. there's a live action McDonald's movie, there's like a 73% chance that Kevin James would play Grimace. I could see it. That's a good call. Okay. Tom Sandoval. He's going to draw Megan. Oh, Megan. And George Santos is going to guess house guest choice selects cocaine bear. How what do they have in common? What well, does George Santos and the cocaine bear have in common, Mike? Well, I mean, George is from South America. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, things also. George Santos and cocaine both come out of the same continent. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So the cocaine bear back in the challenge. Here we Again, go. This is, I think every single time you pick a chip, you pick cocaine bear. Mm -hmm. Smart. Here we go. So at the Big Brother candy store, uh, we have our veto competition. It comes down to cocaine bear, Grimace, and George Santos. And the winner of the power of veto is cocaine bear has won the golden power veto. Now, George Santos picked cocaine bear with house guest choice. Will we see Cocaine Bear use the power of veto? Yes. So George is obviously playing a political game. Understandable. Given his background, he says, I'll scratch your back. He's you an scratch operator. Mine. And Cocaine Bear's like, I use trees to scratch my back. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Uh, at the nomination. I also love, by the way, that Cocaine Bear, the nose candy sniffing bear, won the candy based competition. Yes. Should it be on Candy Crush? I think he should. At the very least. Okay. So, Cocaine Bear is going to use the power of veto on George Santos. The okay. mess! The mess! George, George Santos will not be going home safe. Wow. And I can't evict George, George Santos from this house. It's wild. Yeah, George Santos, I think, was making him a bunch of promises saying like, hey, you know what? I'll teach you how to play volleyball. I did it at Baruch State. Tore up my knees in the process. That's why I'm not doing well at these competitions. So, Cocaine Bear, I need you. Mm -hmm. All right. So Grimace has to name a new a nominee, okay? And so the new replacement nominee from Grimace is going to be Beyonce. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, everybody on mute. They are stuck silence at the fact that Grimace took a shot at the queen. Wow. Grimace! <laughs> Okay. Went for the jugular like all those kids. Now, do you think that Beyonce goes up on the block here because it's like, hey, we really want to get Sandoval out? Who could we put up next to Sandoval that nobody would send home? 
I mean, I guess so. But how many times has Grimace been... He binged Big Brother over the course of like an eight-week period. He's watched every season three times because I'm assuming he exists in some sort of void where time means nothing. Mm -hmm. He knows that pawns go home. I think you are playing with so much fire right now. And I'm not talking about any sort of pyrotechnics from the Renaissance. Story. Okay. All right, we'll get back to the vote. Either Tom Sandoval or a Beyonce will go home. But let's see what's happening in the house. Okay. Uh, Barbenheimer calls out Tom Wamsgam saying that mf -er is not real. I mean, I think they were a little pissed about uh, what Tom did with the veto last week. Plain Lady's wig was snatched a little bit, but a little bit of pot calling the kettle black, yeah. considering that these are fictional characters, except for I, I, Robert J. Oppenheimer was also a real person, so. Yeah. Okay. Pedro Pascal gets rave reviews for preparing girl dinner for the house. This makes a lot of sense. I think Pedro knew he had to lay low like all the best players. And so he decided I'm going to make that internet trend of girl dinner. Here's some cheese. Here's some assorted meats. And yeah. everyone went gaga over it. I mean, just look at how Emily from Survivor, how crazy she went when she got girl dinner at the auction. Oh, Grimace was twerking so mm -hmm. hard once he got that cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't even know who you are. Okay, who are you, Grimace? Who are you? All right. Then, Barbenheimer, a Chinese spy balloon flies over the house saying Barbenheimer is a snake and cannot be trusted. Yeah, the Chinese did not appreciate the cracks taken on them in the Barbie movie and decided to exact international revenge to try to get Barbenheimer thrown under the very stylish bus. Okay, let's see if that affects uh, Barbenheimer moving forward. And, okay, an incident going on between Plain Lady and Taylor Swift. Plain Lady and Taylor Swift bond extremely well. Okay. I mean, I think it's got to be as simple as, like, Plain Lady does seem like a bit of a Swiftie. She's a Swiftie. She's a Swiftie. Do you think she was on her way flying to one of the Eras Tour concerts when she had that brief break from reality? It, it's certainly possible. You know, all that travel, you know, the tickets are expensive. She had to deal with Ticketmaster. Yeah, exactly. Like that MF -er is definitely not real. Taylor Swift had an entire Senate hearing in response to the stuff that happened last year. Yeah. Okay. So Plain Lady and Taylor Swift are bonding. And so that's another bridge to Suri. But let's get back to the vote because uh, we could have a major moment early Ooh. on in this season as could this be a backdoor for Beyonce? Beyonce's back door. Uh, not something that often gets talked about, but it's certainly an available option. I mean, we know how far she made it within her first cut. We know that she has the ability to both go solo and be part of a group. I think that makes her arguably a lot more dangerous than Tom Sandoval. But Tom Sandoval comes in with one of the biggest bounties on his head and additionally also has this story of how he's going to use the Dogecoin to yep. save his family stranded on the, the desert in California. Is that going to work for or against him? Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and uh, see what our vote is. By order seven to five. Wow. Okay, we're going to have to look at the votes on this, on this one. Okay, so you want me to go back? Yeah, let's go back. Okay. All right. So let's see a little bit of in this uh, split house. Okay. Barbenheimer is a vote to evict Sandoval. Suri. I Woo! vote to evict Beyonce. Suri's canceled again. <laughs> I mean, I think she's Team Taylor, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cocaine Bear votes to evict Sandoval. Mm. Fran Drescher votes to evict Beyonce. Woo! I mean, Beyonce, I guess, was a member of sag after when she was starring in all those movies back in the mm -hmm. 2000s. Yeah, like a gold member. <laughs> George Santos, I vote to evict Beyonce. Perhaps his most uh, heinous crime yet. Yeah, he said there's a room for only one queen in this house, <laughs> and it definitely is Kitara Ravache. <laughs> Megan votes to evict Sandoval. Okay, is that 3-3? Three, 3-3. Three? Three, three. This is a tight okay. vote. All right. Uh, Pedro Pascal votes to evict Sandoval. Okay, 4-3. Plain Lady votes to evict Sandoval. 5-3. So if these next, if any one of these next votes are Sandoval, Sandoval's gone. Kim James, I vote to evict Sandoval. Okay. Taylor Swift, I vote to evict Beyonce. Taylor. Well, well, so this is interesting. So Suri and her cohorts here end up being in the minority. Yep. Tom Wamsgams, I vote to evict Sandoval. And Travis Kelsey, I vote to evict Beyonce. Yeah, Tom's Wamsgams said, you can't make eggs without breaking a few mm -hmm. tongues. 
Travis and Taylor trying to undermine Beyonce. Not cool. Yeah, so this was a big shot taken by Taylor Swift and her entourage of uh, trying to take that early shot at Beyonce. Thought they had the numbers on their side. But again, you cannot break Beyonce's soul at this moment. She's an alien superstar for a reason. She's quite literally out of this world. Okay, so Tom Sandoval, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. So... We don't have any updates on Tom Sandoval's family at Burning Man. Nope. Uh, now, I think, unfortunately, he did sit down and say, I am gonna can't wait to come out to my loving girlfriend, Raquel Levis, only to discover hmm. that she may have also sent herself to Burning Man to not contact him. Okay, so a um, messy week for Grimace, who puts Beyonce up on the block. Beyonce does uh, not go home on the back door. Yeah, so this will be a very interesting house to walk into, because you could argue that, okay... Maybe Taylor and the entourage are in the, the clearest line of sight, but Beyonce might have her eyes entirely on Grimace, much like we have been for the past 50 Well, years. you could argue, Mike, that this was a, like a pretty happy, normally running house. Grimace comes in and then cut to this house is a huge mess. Yes, exactly. And so... I'm excited to see how the cleanup of this murder scene is going to happen or if the body is going to be Grimace's soon. Let's get into uh, week number three here in our best of 2023 brand steel. And so we have our next HOH competition coming up following uh, just to check in. Uh, no uh, movement here in our alliances. Uh, and so at our Big Brother tea party. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, this is, is slip this and slide. Slip we finally have slip and slide. Is this slip and slide? Okay, Suri does not come in first place on this one. It comes down to Travis Kelsey, oh. Plain Lady, and Taylor Swift. I mean, I got to imagine that Travis Kelsey fessies this, right? Like, unless he's throwing it. Yeah, to these two. it really comes down to the slip and slide. It's like, who has the longest stride? Uh, big, strong guy. So this seems like that this was a competition that was in Travis Kelsey's wheelhouse. But and... would he throw it to Taylor? No, Plain Lady is the new head of household. Well, we know that she has the speed to move across a plain aisle in an alarming fashion. So yep. I think that the power couple doubted her. Yep. Okay. Plain Lady is the new head of household. And so uh, do you recall what Plain Lady did on the last vote? I believe that Plain Lady did vote to evict Sandoval. So okay. I know that she and Taylor bonded a lot. And so I imagine that Taylor is not going to go up. Yeah, but I'm not sure where so, she's going to go from here. We also know from our alliances that Plain Lady is working with Fran Drescher and uh -huh. Pedro Pascal. Yes. Uh, so I think that those two are going to be safe as well. I wouldn't be surprised if she takes a shot at the couple of previous competition winners. Maybe right. Cocaine Bear, maybe Suri, maybe Grimace. And the chat is letting us know that Plain Lady voted Sandoval. Can somebody screenshot that and just say, like, how's your 2023 going? I think this is a perfect encapsulation of the year. Mm hmm. OK. All right. So uh, Beth says uh, she, she voted uh, that mother effort isn't a real man. Sandoval. That's very true. Yeah. OK. All right. So at the nomination ceremony, Plain Lady says. Barbenheimer and George Santos, you are on the block. Wow. I mean, two products that both represent dualities. I think. Uh, and so I, it's only makes sense that the two of them turn against each other. Barbenheimer, remember, also got that Chinese spy balloon that yep. really outed them as playing duplicitously. So and don't forget, George Santos uh, went on the block last week and mm -hmm. then uh, pulled Cocaine Bear for House Guest Choice and then got saved from the block. And so uh, this is uh, back to back weeks on the block for George Santos. Yeah. And so. It's tough, I would say, if you ask Barbenheimer what their chances are of getting evicted, they would say near zero, but zero would be nice. Okay. All right. So let's see where we go from here. Let's get our veto draw. And so Plain Lady, uh, she draws Beyonce to participate in the power of veto. Okay. Okay. Barbenheimer uh, gets Megan to participate in the power of veto and George movie, Santos movie supporting movies. We love it. If he gets house guest choice, don't be surprised if cocaine bear comes back. Uh, but no, Fran Drescher will participate. Now, Fran Drescher is one of uh, the George Santos's tightest allies. Uh, well, she's working with, uh, with plain lady. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. And Pedro, I know we mix up George Santos and Pedro Pascal a sorry, lot. Sorry, I apologize. Life. <laughs> I apologize. Okay. All right. I got excited for George Santos to go. All right. On so, so let's bring this up. Here. Now, Barbenheimer has been put in the spotlight for the first time this season. Who's playing this week, Barbie or Oppenheimer? I think that you probably want Barbie in the veto competition. Yeah, because I think that Barbie is such a utility piece. Oppie right? seems a little stiff. I think he's also good at like the mental stuff, but not so much the physical with no offense to Cillian Murphy. I feel like Barbie kind of has it all. She can be a scientist. She can be a social butterfly. Mm -hmm. She can be physical. Uh, it just really depends on what outfit she wants to put on in that particular okay. competition. All right. So by, by uh, the way, Barbie kills the outfits. Okay. So this is uh, the house guests enter the backyard to see various items related to ancient Greece. Oh, uh, Roman backyard. empire is so angry. <laughs> Okay, so this was the mental comp, it seems like. Okay, okay well, they should have uh, picked each, Oppenheimer. Each round, the house guests must estimate how much of a specific item there is. Barbenheimer is out first. Okay, comes down to Beyonce, George Santos, and Fran Drescher. And the George winner of the Power of Veto this. is... Fran Drescher has won the Power of Veto. Now, this makes sense. We know that Fran Fine, despite her quaffed manicure, uh, you know, visage, is someone who contains a lot of brains underneath that beautician. And okay. so it makes sense that she's kind of the, the head of household here. Uh, not literally, but a nanny, which is the next best thing. Okay. So Fran Drescher has won the power of veto. Uh, do you think that she will use it on either Barbenheimer or George Santos? No, I think she wants a good deal out of this, right? She wants to make good negotiations. She's not going to take the first offer at the table. I think she's going to walk away. Okay. Fran Drescher has decided... Not to use the power of veto, as expected. As expected. So here we go. Barbenheimer and George Santos. Well, box office value calculate to votes. Okay. So on Thursday night, either Barbenheimer or George Santos will go home. Okay. Thursday night, perfect time to catch a movie. Nobody's there. All right. Let's check in on when, what's going on in the rest of the house. Okay. First off. The Chinese spy balloon now says Pedro Pascal is a snake and cannot be trusted. Uh, Disney must have pulled a bit of money out of the country. They don't like mm. the Star Wars now. Uh, yeah, I mean, Pedro Pascal did a good job of laying low after his kerfuffle in the first couple of weeks. But as we know, with his, you know, uh, flawed anti-heroes, it eventually all comes around in some way. Could that help Barbenheimer now? So people are talking about that it's actually Pedro Pascal that can't be trusted? Yeah, like, oh, this balloon says everything. It said Pedro mm -hmm. Pascal couldn't be trusted. It said we couldn't be trusted. It's an equal opportunity offender. Okay. Cocaine Bear and Pedro Pascal are bonding extremely well. I mean, Pedro Pascal was part of Narcos back in the mm -hmm. day. And so I think there is sort of a mutual understanding they have. Yeah, they also have an alliance, Cocaine Bear and Pedro Pascal. Right. So I think they're just sort of like, all right, let's check in with each other. Let's lock it down. Mm -hmm. They're the uh, Matt and Jag, maybe, <laughs> of the Big Brother <laughs> best of 2023. They really are the Minute Men. All right. Then we've also got... Minute Bears. All right. Kevin James Clorox is every surface of the house just in case. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Uh, listen, the dude has been in a sitcom for over a decade now between a couple of different shows. Like he knows all the hijinks that can ensue. Okay. And then Kevin James also invents a new game. The house is thrilled. To have something. What was the new game that sheepish Kevin James invented? So I think what you do is, you know how they're given that like HOH camera to take pictures. I think it's like, who can produce the best pose that can be used out of context a decade from now? <laughs> a decade? <laughs> uh, like 25 years later. Okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, so there you go. Kevin James has a brand new game. All right. Let's get back to our task at hand. Somebody's going to get evicted Thursday night. All right. Are we ready, Mike? Yeah, let's see what happens here. The, per the, the the team that blew up the world versus the person who blew up Congress in this past year. All right, here we go. Uh, Beyonce votes to evict Barbenheimer. They said, listen, people are going to your movies instead of my film. You're too much of a threat. You got to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Suri sadly votes to evict George Santos. Okay, again, uh, Suri and Beyonce on the opposite side of this vote, too. Yeah. Okay, oh, split we house. Hate to see it. Cocaine Bear sadly votes to Vic George. You used the veto on him last week. Yeah, but he's fickle. His mind changes. He was on cocaine then. It didn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, Fran Drescher votes to evict Barbenheimer. You yeah, broke yeah. strike rules. 
<laughs> Did they? You scabs. <laughs> Grimace votes to evict Barbenheimer. That's, so that's three, three votes to two. Barbenheimer. Megan votes to evict Barbenheimer. Wow, four to two here. I Pedro Pascal votes to evict Barbenheimer. Kevin James, Barbenheimer. Oh, I think that's it. Yep, Barbenheimer is going to be done. Okay, uh, Travis Kelsey and Tom's Wams Gams. Now, Taylor and Travis are voted on different pages here. I think um, Tom voted to evict George because he recognized him from the hearing he was in front of in Congress. Yeah, okay. But let's just keep track of, okay, so the people that uh, were in the minority on the vote. Uh, so it was Kelsey, mm -hmm. Tom. Yep. And then... Also, Cocaine Bear and Suri. Yes, that motley quartet okay so those are the people for one reason or another uh really uh, uh that, that that's george santos uh uh the, or those are the people that were uh, barbenheimer's inner circle yeah and it's tough you know barbie thought that she had set things up perfectly even going into this week and then here comes oppenheimer in the dr saying now i am become death the destroyer of games and unfortunately their game was destroyed in the process to the point where uh, even when Barbie tried to distract things by just asking if people think about getting evicted at any point in time, it wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for Barbie or enough, I should say. Yeah. Very sad uh, that she is out of the house along with Oppenheimer. Do you think they drop a bomb on the way out? In what way? I think they say that Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift are dating. Wow. They knew, right? Because they, we listen, we all tell things in front of our dolls that we don't want anyone else to hear. And we don't realize that they listen back. And so in their weird multiversal world, Barbie and her crew were able to pick up on it. And so they decide to reveal the big secret on the way out the door. All right. They've had Knuff. Exactly. All right. So George Santos, Teflon George, <laughs> can't get him out. <laughs> he's staying again truly a simulation that george santos has survived two votes to evict all right so <laughs> let's go to week number four as uh barbenheimer has left the game all right week four hoh all right uh our oh, by the way the, the chat deliciously suggested that the cocaine bear pedro pascal alliance be called pablo escobar mm -hmm. okay we love it I think the Sari Taylor line should be called Mastermind. Okay. Pablo Escobar and Mastermind. Okay. What about Fran Drescher, Pedro Pascal, and Plain Lady? Oh, this is a very good one. I'm not entirely sure. Mm hmm. Okay. It's all right, we'll keep thinking we'll, about we'll that keep, one. We'll keep, we'll keep marinating on that one. This feels like a, an odd mishmash of people. Oh, but alliance something is happening. Event. An alliance event is happening. And a new alliance has been formed. Woo! A big alliance in the house. Okay, finally. A big, finally. chunky one. All right, Here let's we talk go. about this. All right. We got uh, Beyonce. Big alliance. Okay. This is, they stayed up late, and they made a new alliance. It's Beyonce. It's the cocaine bear. It's plain lady. It's sheepish Kevin James. And Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Yeah, so I think what happened was after Oppenheimer and Barbie dropped that bomb, Travis and Taylor said, okay, we got to go into cleanup d duty immediately. They tried to make the sympathy case of like, I can't believe our big secret got outed in front of the entire house. And they were able to have some listening ears in this moment. I think Plain Lady saw, of course, she has that bond with Taylor Swift. Beyonce is re ready to let bygones be bygones. Cocaine Bear just loves love. It pumps through his very enlarged heart. And Sheepish Kevin James was just kind of there. And when asked to be the Alliance, he just went. Mm. Yeah. And so he ended up being a part of it. Okay. Beth says they got Oppenheimer out and called themselves the Detonators. <laughs> <laughs> Bear Mode Cowboy coming through. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So a big new Alliance is in the house. Okay. And with just what 13 people left a six person alliance uh this group could cause some damage now the problem is though rob one of them is gonna have to win head of household they have about a 50 percent chance of making it happen okay beyonce cocaine bear plain lady sheepish kevin james taylor swift and travis kelsey okay let's see what happens okay then our top three are fran drescher sheepish kevin james and taylor swift and so our this, new is, this is an endurance competition by the way Okay, is this the wall? No, this is a uh, Big Brother Disco, which I think was the spinning discs. 
Okay. The winner of the fourth HOH is going to be Sheepish <laughs> Kevin James. All he had to do was sit there and do nothing. It's perfect for Sheepish Kevin James. Oh, this is incredible. He should not have won this at all. Because everyone thought they were good with him. Because he doesn't give a response one way or the other. Now he has to declare a side. But this is great for that new sixum. Okay. So, new HOH, Kevin James. What does he want to do? Do you have any thoughts, Mike? So we know that this new sixum, I'm assuming, is safe. So that's Beyonce, that's Plain Lady, that's Cocaine Bear, and that's Trailer, um, mm -hmm. who they're going to hitch themselves to, I think, moving forward. So I could see George Santos go up yet again, a very easy person to put up. Um, maybe we'll end up getting maybe Grimace up there. Grimace mm -hmm. might still have some mess to clean up from a couple of weeks ago if Beyonce is looking for some revenge here. Maybe Pedro Pascal. Let's see. Okay. Uh, the nominees are... Oh, it's Suri and Tom Wamsgams. Kevin James going for the jugular. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Suri mm -hmm. and Tom Wamsgams. That is wild on his part. I mean, I guess he took the lead from Suri herself, who said, like, don't waste an HOH on anybody kevin james has learned uh maybe the other thing was like Suri was complaining about the state of the big brother house and it reminds kevin james too much of arthur which was the late jerry stiller's character it's like no more curmudgeons in this big brother house yeah maybe Suri asked to be nominated here four weeks into the <laughs> being back in the big brother house i had a month i really i won in my hoh week one i'm good that was all i needed that was the one last thing i needed to check off mm -hmm. okay so here's Kevin James. Uh, let's find out who's going to play in the veto. Kevin James uh, draws Beyonce to participate in his alliance. It's That's weird good. He, he can't take his hands out of his pocket, so he reaches in with his smirky <laughs> mouth to pull out the veto chip. <laughs> then Suri uh, draws George Santos to participate. Okay, not really a comp threat so far. And then Tom Wamsgams draws house guest choice. <laughs> And selects Cocaine Bear. Little does he know, Cocaine Bear is secretly in the six-person alliance with uh, Sheepish Kevin James. Yeah, it doesn't matter, though. Cocaine Bear is going to be like the Tyler from BB20 of this season. He's going to participate in every veto. Yeah, okay. So he's the veto king, Cocaine Bear. Let's see what happens. <laughs> and so in communication breakdown, uh, the house guests enter to see wooden telephone poles. They must correctly uh, connect the wires of different lengths to the various telephone uh, poles. George Santos like, I remember when I was a lineman back when I was 12 years old. This will be a cinch. <laughs> yeah, this is like a tough as nails challenge, Mike. Ah, yes, I invented tough as nails, by the way. The concept and the show. I conceptualized okay. it. All right, so it comes down to Cocaine Bear, Suri, and George Santos with the power of veto being won by... Cocaine Bear, the winner of the Golden Power of Veto. Two oh. vetoes in four weeks. Okay. Competition beast of burden. Okay. Cocaine Bear has won his second Power of Veto so far of uh, 2023. So suffice it to say, he's going to do what the HOH wants right now. And so it, de it determines to be seen out of our two nominees in Suri and Tom who they want. Will every even number season be a Tom vote? We shall see. Okay. Let's go and uh, check out what's going on in the house this week. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. We have to get our uh, our nomination, our veto ceremony. All right. Cocaine Bear. What do you think, Mike? Do they do it? I think he's keeping his paws clean, even if his snout isn't. Yeah, I think the Cocaine Bear does not use the power of veto. And Cocaine Bear does not use the power of veto. So the power of veto goes back into hibernation this week. Wow, if I had a nickel every time there was a week in this season where a beloved figure was nominated against like a pretty despised guy named Tom, I'd have two nickels. <laughs> All right, so we'll see what happens on Thursday night. Meanwhile, in the house, Suri is informed her relatives are currently stranded at Burning Man. No, they Jared! Uh, mm, yeah. Okay, so hopefully Jared, HB, Izzy, uh, they all are able to get home from Burning Man, okay? Yeah, Blue made her way there. They had to eat the kitty kitty boots purr down the house in order to live. It's a real ghastly sight. Okay, Travis Kelsey coordinates with the whole house to compliment Julie on eviction night. Fran Drescher tells the cameras that they refuse. Wow, Fran being a holdout here. She's not gonna settle, okay? Even if it comes to a pre-organized bit. Mm-hmm, okay, all right. Then 
that she will not tell Julie she looks, what was it, ravishing? Exquisite. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. Travis no, Kelsey. You know what she says? She says you look twitter exquisite. He earns extra money for this week's budget in a task. What did he do? Oh, he did a chunk, chunky soup commercial. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Look, all the commercials have to be Chiefs by the end of the season. Oh, yeah. I think 100. I think Andy Reid is going to send him an HOH letter if he wins. Mm hmm. Yeah. I was happy that they redid the uh, Snickers commercial with uh, Who Are the Chefs? Great yes. Googly Moogly. Yes, exactly. I'm, who are the chefs? The answer is not Travis Kelsey. Pedro Pascal is the one cooking this season, not him. Mm -hmm. okay. That's including him on the field as well. He ain't cooking. All right. Oh, George and... Santos is feeling down, but prevails on the faith of a mustard seed. <laughs> I remember when I wrote that passage in the Bible all those years yeah. ago. Uh, Mr. B, I have some requests that I'd like to make. First off, access to Grinder at oh. my leisure. <laughs> okay all right <laughs> i'm gonna need some botox <laughs> mr b mr all b right. stands for botox correct mm -hmm. all right it is eviction night here in the big brother house uh sari and tom wamsgams face eviction let's oh, see the boy. votes now we all know right. that tom has been rummaging around for votes this week but did he rummage to fruition all right <laughs> Beyonce votes to evict Tom. Cocaine Bear votes to evict Sari. Oh. Now, uh, Beyonce and Cocaine Bear are both in that six person alliance. Yeah, that's interesting. We'll see if they're on the same page here. Fran Drescher votes to evict Sari. George Santos votes to evict Sari. That's three votes for Sari. Okay. Grimace votes to evict Tom. Three, two. Megan. Votes to evict Suri. Or two. I think one more should do it. Pedro Pascal. Votes to evict oh. Suri. Plain Lady. Votes to evict Suri. Taylor Swift. Votes to evict Tom Wamsgams. And Travis Kelsey. Okay, so interesting. That six-person alliance. Uh -huh. uh, trailer voted for Tom. Grimace voted for Tom, who's not in that six-person no. alliance. Grimace is just being Grimace. And Beyonce voted for Tom. Yeah, so that alliance split 3-3, three, three, basically. I mean, I know that one of them was the HOH. And it's interesting, you know, as Suri walked out, Tom commented on her luggage, saying that she brought a ludicrously capacious bag. What's even in there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, unfortunately, Suri will not win this season of Big Brother either. Do you think Suri stood up and was like, please... Izzy Fields is stranded at Burning Man right now. I cannot save her. I'm going to get in my kayak and paddle down the river to go save her. I think she got up there and said, look, my cup is full. <laughs> Tom, he wants to be here. Yes, exactly. Tom does not need a family to go back to at this point. He'd mm -hmm. rather remain here in many ways. I am the quite exact opposite. Let me go. Meta world peace style. Yeah. I think sheepish Kevin James had cut his toenails on her bed the day before. And she said, I'm out. Yes. Cause with his teeth. Cause again, hands tuck in pockets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. Suri is gone. Okay. So it looks like it's tough with the, um, as people go to black and white, the cocaine bear uh, started black and white. So yeah, sort of Schrodinger's like bear. He's both evicted and in the house at the same time. Okay. So we're down to the final 12, Mike. Yeah, here we go. And four pretty big heavy hitters going out right now. And everyone's kind of all over the place. Even this six person alliance that we thought was going to take over the game, split their votes last time. Okay. So uh, we'll see. Maybe it's more of an alliance of friends than people who are voting together. Yes, exactly. Uh, more, I'd say, Seinfeld than Friends, and that they can never get on the same page. Okay, let's see what happens. Our fifth HOH. We have our uh, big alliance, uh, Fran Drescher, Pedro Pascal, Plain Lady, and then the Pablo Escobar uh, final two still going strong. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, R.I.P. All right, all Mastermind. I forgot, Suri's eviction. Taylor is now only joined up with this sextet. Okay. There we go. And our HOH competition, Bull in a China Shop, ends up with 
George Santos, Grimace, and Travis Kelsey. George Santos, I will say, after sandbagging it, the first couple of competitions has been sneaking into like pretty high up rankings in a lot of these competitions recently. He lulled you into a false sense of security, and the winner of the fifth HOH is going to be Travis Kelsey. Uh oh. So this show, man, oh. they've got the HOH room now. Uh oh. Are the cameras on? They always are when it comes to Taylor Swift, just like we see at every NFL game. It's just going to cut to them every five seconds. Yeah, I think on the live feeds, they have one camera that just stays on Taylor the whole time. Yes, exactly. I was at Big Brother 24. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we go. Travis Kelsey is the new HOH. And so Travis Kelsey, uh, we're going to find out uh, what his nominations are. Uh, he's in that big alliance of uh, six. I can't wait for like the slow down porny version of a midnight song to play as we like underscore the scene of Travis and Taylor getting some time to themselves in the HOH room. Now, Mike, on the last vote, Travis and Taylor, they voted to uh, evict George Santos. They did. OK, uh, let's see if George Santos is going back on the block. It is going to be. Oh, Pedro Pascal and Fran Drescher. Woo! He's going for the celebs, baby. He said, look, I have my time on the A-list right now. There can only be room for one here. Maybe a few, like Taylor and Beyonce. So sorry, Pedro, Fran. Love your work, but much like a squirrel, you gotta skitter out of here. Okay, so... Pedro Pascal and Fran Drescher, they are part of a three-person alliance with Plain Lady. Now, Plain Lady is in the six-person alliance with Travis and Taylor. Yeah, so it'll be interesting. And I think Fran Drescher is as well, if I'm recalling correctly. So this no, is Fran Drescher is not in the oh, six-person alliance. Okay, uh, so this will be interesting uh, to see who she's going to jockey for. I mean, we know that there's only so much Plain Lady can run her mouth and anyone will believe her at any point in time, but she may be forced to pick between allies right now. Okay, so... Let's uh, see who's playing in veto number five. Travis Kelsey has house guest choice selects plain lady. Oh, making this even harder for her. I love my petty king, Travis Kelsey. Okay. Plain lady uh, might have a big decision to make if she, she might have to throw the veto. Oh, I think so. Okay. She's got a D plane right now. <laughs> All right. Then Pedro Pascal has drawn George Santos to participate. Maybe he might want to win the veto just to make sure he doesn't get up as a renom. <laughs> yeah. And then, Fran Drescher uh, is going to draw Grimace to participate. Dare I say, has Grimace gone a bit purple since his HOH reign? A little bit. A lot of people in the chat saying uh, Megan has been pretty purple as well. Yeah, I think we're getting a, like an FM3GAN, a little bit of like a Bowie Jane-esque edit for Megan at the moment. Mm -hmm. She's been she's lying, in sleep mode. She's lying dormant, right? She's lying standing. She's waiting for that child to come in so that she could take care she's of She's charging. Right. Okay. Our veto ends up being uh, the juggler. Oh, this House is the, uh, yeah, toss the ball up and down the ramp. Okay. And so we end up with George oh. Santos, Fran Drescher, and Pedro Pascal. Ooh. And the winner of the veto is going to be Pedro Pascal. Oh. You have won the power of veto. There we go. Pedro Pascal, listen, he knows Grogu loves that little metal ball that he plays with. Din Djarin yes. has probably been rolling it around a bunch of times. And so Pedro Pascal is a master of balls. All right, so Pedro Pascal, he has won the golden power of Edo. He will not be going home. And so now Travis Kelsey has He does always pull make. through, as you said. Yes. yes. All right. Mike, Pedro Pascal will use the power yes. of Edo, right? And so the question is, who will Travis Kelsey nominate? I think maybe it could be I th Grimace. Could I think be it's Megan. George Santos. You think so? I mean, it's the easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. Like, All I right. know that Travis is cons consistently decked out in red, but he doesn't run any red on his hands. Right. So let's see what Travis Kelsey does. Travis Kelsey. He's nominated Megan as a replacement. I don't trust them robots. Wow. Okay. We just, we jinxed Megan by saying how safe she was, how insulated, dormant. Megan and Fran Drescher. Now is Megan in SAG? Uh, that's a great question. I feel like Megan, no, because Fran Drescher specifically worked to prevent AI from taking over actors' roles. So I think Megan is the exact opposite of SAG. She's mm -hmm. gas. Okay. Um, Mike, also you got a compliment from Taylor Hale in the chat. Fantastic sports reference, Mike. Proud of you. Thank you. I pulled it out of my tight end. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. Megan and Fran Drescher. 
are going to be on Thursday night up on the block. But first, Kevin James approaches George Santos and beams that their game has changed for, uh, they're going to say for the better, when they join the mafia. <laughs> now, the tough thing is he can't do the gesticulation because, again, hands permanently stuck in pockets. So it's just sort of like, when you join the mafia with me. How did your game change for, I'm going to say the better, when you joined the mafia with Matt and I? Okay, Bowie James. <laughs> Bowie James! <laughs> I'm secretly a DJ. <laughs> yeah. Taylor says, uh, tag me once Beyonce wins. All right, let's let's make it happen. Taylor, put that out into the world. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there we'll see. Go. It might be uh, Taylor's karma in a very different way if Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey take it home. All right. So, so Kevin James. Uh, and... <laughs> what happens if you join the mafia with Matt and AI? <laughs> <laughs> Matt and AI. Oh, my God. All right. So Kevin James and George Santos could be the mafia if they stay together. I mean, I think George Santos would claim he was in the mafia. All right. Is Megan a pawn here? Oh, it's a great question. I mean, she quite literally was like an object in this house yet to be brought to life. So I can imagine if Travis Kelsey's trying to go for something that would take the least amount of offense to it. It would be Megan. But he clearly hasn't seen the movie considering that Megan is one vindictive bitch. Yep. Okay. So let's see how the votes go. All right. Beyonce votes with Fran Drescher. Cocaine Bear votes with Megan. Mm. George Santos. Cocaine Bear's getting rid of all the movie icons. It's interesting. Well, he wants to be the top star of the year. Votes with Fran Drescher. Grimace votes with Fran Drescher. Pedro Pascal votes with Megan. Two to three. Plain Lady votes with Megan. That Ma MF is not real. Ma three to three. Okay. Kevin James. Votes to evict Megan. Oh my God, Taylor Megan! Swift. Votes to evict what Megan. Is it? Tom Watson votes to evict Megan. There's it's a Megan vote. backdoor. They backdoored Megan. No, please don't take that out of context. <laughs> they thought her game looked like it was titanium. Yep, exactly. And she tried to sing them to sleep, but they were wide awake, and she was cut to pieces uh, and that was her last resort you know i think they said in it like this is more of a 2022 thing if i'll be honest megan did try to sort of entertain on her way out her final jury speech was just her doing a little bit of dancing on the way out mm -hmm. and nobody really took the bait there okay so megan <laughs> my vote of six to uh three, three again <laughs> yeah <number> three <laughs> okay megan has been evicted from the big brother house and fran drescher can't get her down. I mean, what I love is actually. <laughs> that she laughed she, in Megan's face. She really has. She's Rachel Riley coded, in my opinion. <laughs> Notable laugh. Distinct personality. Flodas, get a contract. <laughs> uh, and what, what's interesting about Mathrigan is that she really was Mathri Mathri. She really was the Mimi of this season, considering that, like, you thought she was sleeping, but she'd go to the storage rooms and she would just list off all this code, all this intel she has about all the other house guests, but she wouldn't let it be known to anybody else. Yeah, uh, that changes everything, Mike. Uh, so is Mimi, do we spell that M3, M3? I think so. Yeah, okay. And so on the way out, does she uh, call out Travis and Taylor like she did Corey <laughs> in America? Yes, they have a secret alliance with, uh, with Bowie James. <laughs> All and right. then the, the Miss Georgisha and George Santos decides to call them out on it as well. All right, here we go. All right, so let's go to week six. Can you believe it? All right, who will be the new HOH? Let's find out together. All right, no changes in the alliance. No. Fran Drescher, what a big week here for... It looked so bad for yeah. Fran Drescher and Pedro Pascal. They went up on the block as Travis Kelsey's nominations. They both stay. Fran Drescher survives the vote. Pedro Pascal wins the veto. That's how you do it. Yeah, we went with PP and AMPTP. No mm -hmm. matter what they find themselves in, they're able to get their way out with a good deal. And so I think, honestly, they survived what should have been a slam dunk vote against either one of them. All right. So week six is in the final three, it comes down to sheepish Kevin James, Fran Drescher, oh. and Grimace. 
And the winner of the sixth HOH of the season, it's Fran Drescher. Wow. wow. She goes from the nominee potentially getting yep. voted out to now she's in power. The nanny is now the head of household. Where's Mr. Sheffield now? Mm -hmm. Give me that key, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Fran Drescher, new HOH. Uh, what do we think she wants to do? Uh, Travis Kelsey, put her up on the block. I think, I think it's Travis mean, and Taylor. Yeah, I think you, you go for the gut here and you go for trailer right now. Okay. So let's see what Fran wants to do. She has George what? Santos and Grimace. No, not GG. TT. You missed mm -hmm. her, Fran Treasure. <laughs> All right. George and Grimace. Uh, that's a sitcom. I can't wait. Hey, to watch. Uh, George Santos is on the block for the third time this in season. Six, in six weeks. <laughs> I believe this is Grimace's uh, first time up on the block. I love that you said that like an award show announcer. <laughs> this is the first appearance on the block for Grimace. <gasps> yeah, Grimace, again, was able to go behind the scenes despite his incredibly messy HOH where he tried to backdoor Beyonce. But yep. now he's out in front again. Yep. K in the chat says uh, it's a backdoor. Has to be. Redmond's thinking a backdoor. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Also, George and Grimace are, have we ever seen them in the same place at the same time? They're kind of yeah. getting the same pose right now. <laughs> I do think a little bit, yeah. Is yeah. George Santos Grimace? All right. So, <laughs> let's see our veto draw. Fran Drescher draws Tom Wamsgams. George Santos as house guest choice and selects Kevin James. Now, they are in the mafia together. They are in the mafia, and the AI is now gone. So... Mm -hmm. But I feel like Cocaine Bear should have been the shoe in right now. And then Grimace, uh, that he's got Beyonce to participate in the power of veto. Let's see what. Oh, happened. Zingbot. Oh, it was Zingbot already? Yeah, it's, Zingbot is here. And basically, what they do is they just read off all the snarky tweets about George Santos after he was ejected from Congress. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there were some good zings here for this group. But. Fran Drescher! <laughs> yes. <You> yes, Zingbot! <laughs> <laughs> and then Zingbot explodes like, oh my god, someone sounds just like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then the winner of the Power of Veto is George Santos has won the Golden Power of Veto. <laughs> Wow, wow, look at this. George Santos allowed, much like he has the past couple of weeks, to let the hate fuel him. This is his ethanol right now. And he, even though he doesn't believe in climate change, he's going to use that as a sustainable vehicle to get him through the competition. Okay. Wow. Uh, Mike, you are deep in the weeds of George Santos's uh, research that you know his uh, climate change position. He looked up <laughs> so much stuff about George Santos. Rob, he said his grandparents survived the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. George Santos, will he use the power of veto? I, you got to imagine. So now this, is this what Fran Drescher wanted? Was this part of her larger master plan? No, I don't think she wanted to put George Santos on the block so that he could win the veto. I don't know. I think that she has possibly a Travis backdoor in mind right now. And she knew, okay, if George fails, then he stays on the block and becomes an easy boot. If he somehow wins, then perfect. This is my opportunity. Okay, let's see. George Santos is going to use the power of it on himself. And mm -hmm. so Fran Drescher will rename a, a nominee and it's going to be Beyonce. Oh, <laughs> oh my <sighs> God. Wow. Beyonce. She's that girl. Yes. Fran and Drescher. I will say for the second time this season, Beyonce goes up as a replacement nominee. Listen, that's all. Beyonce's never going to see that key wheel happy. She says, don't get any pie on my face, please. I spent too much time in makeup for this. All right. So it's Beyonce and Grimace on Thursday. But let's uh, put that to the side for now. Beyonce is getting rave reviews for preparing girl dinner for the house. Now, maybe Blue Ivy did it, and Beyonce just gave her a bunch of instructions how to do so, and so Blue Ivy got better over time. Okay. Now, George Santos approaches Taylor Swift and says that beamingly, uh, <laughs> how has their game changed for her? They're going to say the better when she joined the mafia. 
this is such short sentence stuff of like, hey, that's a great idea. How about the alliance that I created? Okay. Uh, Taylor tells everybody, don't worry about Beyonce, that Taylor was a replacement nominee at least two times, too. Exactly. Listen, America may have a problem, but Big Brother certainly does. No, leave her out of this, Mike. <laughs> okay? All right. Then Tom Wamsgams uh, earns extra money for the budget in a task. Okay. Bore on the floor, I'm assuming, was the task. And then okay, Beyonce and Taylor. Okay. Oh, oh boy. boy. I hope this, oh, boy. this could go either way. Beyonce flips <laughs> the mattress of the bed of Taylor Swift. Okay. She All says, right. it's not the diamonds, it's not the pearls, I'm that girl, and you are not. But I've been stewing, letting this build for years at a time. I'm letting this all erupt right now. Beyonce, you're on the block. Uh, sometimes, Rob, though, you just gotta be in your field. She entered a country with derringers. Sheepish Kevin James has injured himself after building a Boston cop slide in the backyard and taking it for a ride. This I've seen this in how many Kevin James movies? Mm -hmm. Like here comes I saw this in Grown Ups 2, 3, 7. He takes a water slide, gets yeah. injured in the process. Now we'll see. Now, Kevin James did not block his fall because again, hands stuck in pockets. He might Mike, be in a Is this something that happened in 2023? What is a Boston cop slide? Well, besides a euphemism for probably something George Santos played, <laughs> paid an exorbitant <laughs> amount of taxpayer funds for. Uh yeah, so there was like a slip and slide in a manner of speaking that a bunch of Boston cops went down and like took some hard falls okay. they just got whipped at ferocious speeds yeah a real paul blart move okay all right stop building a boston cop slide all right let's get back to beyonce and grimace oh man this is gonna be tough you know beyonce evaded the line of fire the first time but considering what she just did i don't know i don't know if destiny's child is in the stars here Okay, <laughs> so there are eight votes to evict, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, it will take at least four, and then the HRH will have to break the tie. All right, Cocaine Bear has voted to evict Grimace. Okay. All right, George Santos votes to evict Grimace. Oh, yeah, I did forget that Beyonce is in a six-person alliance, so I think she's okay. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Don't jinx it, Mike. Okay, Pedro Pascal votes to evict Beyonce. Damn it! He is not in the six-person alliance. Plain Lady is supposed to fix Beyonce. Oh, oh my God. Boy. That alliance may not be real. Two, All right. Two. Kevin James votes to evict Grimace. Okay. Sheepish I sheepishly vote to evict Grimace. <laughs> Taylor Swift votes to evict Grimace. Wow, she let okay. bygones be bygones. Her, yeah, her mattress got flipped. Maybe it was all a ruse. Okay. Yeah, listen, it may Tom, be a cruel summer, but it's going to be a very amicable winter. Okay, Tom Wamsgams votes to evict Beyonce. Okay, so four to three. Uh, let's see the Travis Kelsey vote. Um, if it's for Grimace, it'll be five to three. If not, the HOH, Fran Drescher, Drescher. will have to break the tie. Okay. It's Beyonce. Oh, you messy, messy people. Now, Taylor Swift did forgive Beyonce, but Travis Kelsey did not. No, I think he's been burned much more recently. And so mm -hmm. it's almost like he's a, Taylor Swift's a tack dog. Yeah. You know, like he feels with normally his whole he's body. compared to a golden retriever. Yes, exactly. But we know that the dog has bite. Uh, and luckily, Megan did not kill this dog. All right. So it's a 4 4 tie. Fran Drescher put Beyonce up on the block just the other day as a replacement nominee. Yes. So we'll see. Was this her big plan all along to get Beyonce out? Was a Beyonce backdoor going to happen once more? Or was Grimace always the purple apple of her eye? Okay. There is a tie. Fran Drescher votes to evict Beyonce. Oh, she's not a girl's girl. Mm. Oofa doofa. Queen B. Man, she is madder than that one time the crew did not remove the stairs from her sparkled out horse <laughs> during her last number. Okay, Fran Drescher has voted to evict Beyonce oh, on man. a tie vote. Oh, man. It was a move. It was a big move. Chat but is not happy. Chat is melting down right now. Understandably so. Everyone's a buzzing right now mm -hmm. due to the hive being upset at the moment. <laughs> listen everybody i just want to just want everyone to to take some decorum 
here. Put your lighters in the sky. Let's get this mother effer, Liddy. She gonna shake that ass and them mm -hmm. pretty tiggle biddies. Don't you worry. <laughs> How do you think the interview with Julie is going to go with Beyonce? <laughs> I think Beyonce is going to completely supersede her. I think she's going to take <laughs> over. She'll grab the microphone. I, you know okay. what? I think she pulls out her own microphone to be like, all right, Julie, <laughs> let me take this for a second. Well, wow. all right. So Beyonce gets the back door. Oh, <laughs> my God. Incredible. They did it. What a move. What an absolute move. They had to. They had to. You know what Julie Chen Movis would say? What if I were to tell you that this season, two house guests were dating? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you know that? Okay. All right. So here we go. Uh, we are down now. Uh, six people are out. We're down to the last 10. Cocaine mm -hmm. Bear, Fran Drescher, George Santos, Grimace, Pedro Pascal, the Plain Lady, Cheapish Kevin James, Taylor Swift, Tom Wams, Gams, and Travis Kelsey. And we have a showman's here that has uh, only Taylor Swift went on the block once. Yeah, they are somehow evading the majority of the targets. I mean, I think they really had at that time like a loyal to the soil alliance, but Trailer uprooted itself from that soil and decided, or at least a couple of them did, right? It was, I think, Plain Lady and Travis Kelsey that broke from that sixum alliance and decided to mm -hmm. force the tie against Beyonce. Well, let's see what's going on with the six-person alliance because I can't see how this is a functioning alliance. Listen, never doubt Big Brother, especially this cracked or coked out of a cast. Okay, okay. Uh, I apologize that uh, Taylor Swift was not on the block uh, as uh, Nick. Uh, you know, I, I have in my notes, uh, T.S. was on the block. That was Tom Sandoval. Sorry. <laughs> they often get mixed up for each other. It's okay. Sorry, Sorry I apologize about that. I uh, misread my own note. Uh, it was not uh, it was the other T.S. Yes, we have okay. T. Also, not to be confused with T.S. Elliott, uh, hit <laughs> of Cats, which is also something that Taylor Swift enjoys. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's see our alliances. Uh, we're definitely a five-person alliance now. Where, and which half of them, they've never voted together. Yes. I guess they're really this keeping themselves hidden. Alliance does not mean what you think it means, folks. I mean, I think what's, hap what's funny is that Taylor and Travis, are they really trying to play up like, no, we don't really vote together. We're clearly not that close. We're not going to take each other to the final two at all. Mm -hmm. We can't get on the same page. Yep. All right, well, it's working. All right, here we go. Let's go to our next HOH competition, House Guest Soup. They must sit in a bathtub filled with water. Okay, uh, this is the uh, Big Brother 3 Amy yes. Cruz HOH win. Yes, okay. exactly. And I believe George Soros, uh, George Santos, I just say, much like Amy, did cornrows his hair as well for the <laughs> occasion. Okay, all right. Who could sit in a vile, festering bathtub of slop just scroll to george santos winning <laughs> but he had it uh, it comes down to plain lady cocaine bear and travis kelsey travis kelsey is like i've done ice baths after every game this is nothing this is nothing for cocaine bear either so let's see uh the winner of the seventh hoh is going to be the plain lady uh who wow. becomes our for our first two-time hoh you ever get millions of views of the worst day of your life? That's much worse than anything that I could get with eels and snakes in this bath. Yeah. A uh, plain lady gets an HOH basket and gets a letter from Riley. <laughs> that's not that, a real person. That Q-tip shrine I made, it finally paid off. <laughs> All right. Plain lady, on her first HOH, she nominated George Santos and... um. Who was the second person? Uh, who's, who's BH? BH was that? Uh... Oh, it'd be uh, Barbenheimer. Barbenheimer, <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Then she got Barbenheimer out on her first HOH. They weren't real. Mm hmm. The nominees are George Santos again. The and alter Grimace. egos of George. Sa you know what? I think everyone realized the big secret that George Santos and Grimace were the same person. We can't have one person getting twice the amounts of chances to take home this Doge coin. They okay. gotta go up against each other every week. George Santos is now on the block for the fourth time in seven weeks. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I don't know who got their ass shown to them or George Santos in this game or that one guy from Congress. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So George Santos and Grimm is around the block. Let's see who is going to get picked for the veto. Uh, Plain Lady has drawn sheepish Kevin James to participate. George Santos has drawn Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. And Grimace has drawn Travis Kelsey. Okay, we got Trailer playing right now. And Kevin James, all three of them are in an alliance with Plain Lady. So you'd imagine if they win the veto, they would do what she wants. Okay, probably leave the nominations the same. But our HOH competition comes down to Kevin James, Travis Kelsey, and George Santos. George Santos uh, could win his second veto in a row here. Okay, let's see. The winner of the veto competition is going to be George Santos has won the Golden Power veto again. I can't use the veto in Congress anymore, but I can use one here, <laughs> bitches. I'm not sure Congress has a veto, but uh, I respect the sentiment. Yes, exactly. I don't think he knows that either. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> All right. This is then... for my niece that was definitely kidnapped in Queens by my haters. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. So... Let's see what happens at the nomination ceremony. Uh, George Santos is the cam of this season. I mean, I definitely think buying he, or selling. I definitely think he gave a lot of donor funds to somebody with the screen name Space Cowboy. That's for sure. <laughs> Beth says, am I crazy? Or the more that George Santos wins, the more I reconsider if anything he said is a lie. Well, Beth, you are a New Yorker. So I think unfortunately you've already been suckered in. He was your representative. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Can't keep a baddie down. <laughs> uh, Gabe says, is he like King George now in some ways? Yeah, so who's his Simon then? Travis Kelsey? <laughs> <laughs> Travis Kelsey would be like, this cookie is definitely an idol. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go. All right. So George Santos will use the power of veto. Yep. Okay, so now who Plain will Plain Lady, Lady the replacement up? nominee. There's only a few people that she's not in an alliance with at this point. It's basically Fran Drescher and Pedro Pascal. Oh, no, but she, she is in an alliance with them. So who, does she, who is she going to nominate? <laughs> I mean, so there are, uh, let's see, George Santos and Grimace. I don't, is there anybody left in the house that is she's not in an alliance with? No, because she's in that five sub. So that's four allies of hers. And then there's the two. And then one more is eight. And the ninth is her, hmm. right? And we're down to okay. nine. There's a tenth. I'm not sure. Plain Lady is going to nominate Tom Wamsgam. Yeah, so that was found the, one, the person. That was the one left out. He was the one left over, much like he was in Succession. Okay, Tom is freaking out, Mike. <laughs> yes, he's throwing desks around. He's hucking water bottles at people. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so he's researching what it's like in the jury house. What book should I read? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he's researching how to make toilet wine in the jury house. All right, let's see where we go from here. All right, Plain Lady flips the mattress on the bed of Grimace. Oh, man, that's going to be tough, uh, considering that the mattress is just stuffed with fries at that <laughs> point. So it's just full of, full of a bunch of moldy food. And then Plain Lady invents a new game. The house is thrilled to have something to do. I think it's sort of like a murder mafia-esque game of like, you point to someone and you say, are you real? And yeah. they have to decipher if they're real or not. I think that she is like staring into like the one way mirror and trying to see if she can see people in there and mm. then calling them out. I like that a lot. She is definitely someone Paloma style who's like getting driven slowly crazy by the cameras. Mm -hmm. Yep. She's got like a whole big plan to share all the money with the five person alliance. <gasps> exactly. And she... it's a, it, guys, it's all a simulation. I'm telling you. <laughs> None of this is real. No, it's not real. <laughs> wow. Was Paloma the original plane lady? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Taylor Swift is informed that her relatives are now at Burning Man. Why? She had a world Stop going tour. to Burning Man. To stop going. You have, you are related to Taylor Swift. Donna Kelsey, don't go there. Brittany Mahomes, stay away. <laughs> Jackson Mahomes. Let's check it out. Yeah, listen. Jason Kelsey, oh. I think he could live out in the desert for like a year. He looks like that. He could do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what's happening on 
Thursday. Only seven votes now. So only four to evict. Now it's interesting. Tom does stand up and delivers this sort of like fluffy platitude filled monologue about how his utility can be serviced for the entire house. And he says, just remember at the end of the day, we hear for you. We hear for you. The great speech works a lot better than we we were listening for you. Yeah. And what's Grimace's uh, speech to the house? On my birthday? <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, my 52nd birthday? On my 52nd birthday? Okay. All right. Let's see. Cocaine Bear. Sadly, votes to evict Tom Wamsgams. Wow. Voted Grimace last time, I believe. Okay. Fran Drescher. Vote to evict Tom Wamsgams. Mm. George Santos. Votes to evict Grimace. This is such a rivalry. I, I not one neither can live while the other survives. This is mm -hmm. this is the duality of man in an image. We all are either a George Santos or a Grimace. Pedro Pascal votes with Grimace two to two. Pedro Pascal has gotten very quiet lately. I he's Doctor Willing it right now for <laughs> sure. Like we thought, Mathrigan was the robot. No, under him only circuitry mm -hmm. and wires. Okay, all right, and he hates robots. Okay. Um, Kevin James votes to evict Tom Wamsgams. I sheepishly vote to evict Tom Wamsgams. All right. Taylor Swift could evict Tom Wamsgams right here. I vote to evict Grimace. Oh, my God. There's been so many close votes. And so it all comes down to will Travis Kelsey once again spurn his sweet baboo in Taylor? Is he going to throw a Hail Mary here? Go wildcat formation mm -hmm. and vote out Tom. All right. Travis Kelsey will determine who goes home. Travis, uh, Tom Wamsgams or Grimace? Grimace is a vote is evicted by a vote of four to three. And it's so interesting because Tom is going to lean over into Grimace's ear and whisper about how his earlobe is so thick and chewy, like barnacle meat. <laughs> That's just the hamburger. All right. <laughs> there you go. Grimace is evicted from the Big Brother house. Tom's a cockroach, man. He's going to survive no matter what. He thought he was DOA, but he is going to survive an appointment with the DOJ, DOJCM, as it were. Mike, we are down now. Uh, seven people down to the final nine in our game of the best of 2023. This has been a, such a fun season so far. We had just it's had a five three vote of like a tie broken vote by Fran Drescher and a four to three vote. Yeah, I mean, Real Big Brother could never. No, exactly. <laughs> we are producing the simulation that reality could never make. All right, but Mike, we have an alliance event. Could this be uh -oh. finally the five person alliance crumbles under its own weight? Uh no. The Pablo Escobar alliance has dissolved. Well, much like any sort of drug cartel, it was bound to be busted up by the feds mm -hmm. or the right. Frans. So Cocaine Bear and Pedro Pascal have gone their own way. Uh, Pedro Pascal uh, is now only in an alliance with Fran Drescher and Plain Lady. Not a good idea. Now, I would imagine this was some sort of Cocaine Bear-fueled bout of just erratic behavior of like, I don't want to work with you anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Only one of us could be beloved. All right. So let's get to our final, our eight week HOH. All right. Comes down to Sheepish Kevin James, George Santos, and Pedro Pascal. And our HOH is George Santos is finally HOH. Look at this guy going on a comp tear later on in the season. It's much like the claims AFP. he made about. Yeah, if he would have been a contender for the Winter Olympics back in 1996, but finally he's due for his own time in the spotlight right now. Okay, Mike, now, George Santos, who's been on the block four different times, has been put on the block by Grimace, uh, by Plain Lady twice, and by Fran Drescher, is payback a you-know-what? 100%. And I think, a la Todrick Hall and just as cringy. George Santos puts on an act here. He dresses up in drag, a la Katara Ravace, his identity that was discovered that is not Grimace. And he decided that he's in his top era right now. He's bottoming no longer as he descends the stairs. All right. So let's see his nominees. And they are 
Taylor Swift ooh, and Pedro ooh, Pascal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so maybe a plain lady backdoor, perhaps? Okay, so uh, big game hunting. Yeah, I mean, as he should, this is finally the first bit of power he has in this game. And so he is going to glom onto it and use the office as it should be. Okay, this now is the first time that Taylor Swift has been put up on the block. Pedro Pascal uh, has not seen the block. No, he he was nominated. He, he's he's been on the block twice. Yeah, he was nominated uh, back in the Kelsey first week. Yeah, nominated him back in week five, and then uh, Suri put him on the block back in week one. Yeah. All right. But... Here we go. Let's see who is going to play in the veto. Okay, George Santos draws sheepish Kevin James to participate. Taylor Swift gets house guest choice and selects plain lady. You pick cocaine bear. What are you doing? People yeah, or Travis Kelsey who, why didn't you understand the assignment? She's still convinced. She's like, I don't think anyone's onto us at this mm -hmm. moment. Okay. And then Pedro Pascal has drawn cocaine bear. They okay. just broke up. Oh, this is so, the drama. It, their alliance just disintegrated, and then he reaches his chip in. Probably anybody but Cocaine Bear. Mm -hmm. Cocaine Bear. And then Cocaine Bear sort of shuffles up in his blue robe, his gray robe, just sort of like... And has to stand next to Pedro Pascal. Okay. Let's see. The top three are Pedro Pascal, George Santos, and Cocaine Bear. So a nominee, the HOH, and someone who just broke their alliance up with the nominee. And the power of veto goes to Pedro Pascal has won the power of veto. Wow. That PP is... always pulls through. Yeah, that's his second veto win, I believe. Second veto win when he needed it, also on the block. Yeah, so listen, this dude is able to deliver a powerhouse performance. He did have that brief moment where his heart stopped and he clutched the post, but we know that much like Joel, he's able to power through even the most grievous of injuries and protect what's owed to him. Okay, so Pedro Pascal pulled himself off of the block in week five and Megan went up and got backdoored. Um, mm -hmm. That we have seen now, this is four weeks in a row. The person on the block has won the power of veto. Wow, Big Brother Canada 10 style. I love it. Okay, so Pedro Pascal will use the power of veto. Now, uh, dare I ask, will George Santos backdoor someone? Hmm. I would think that he will maybe put Travis Kelsey in this spot. I mean, if George Santos backdoors Travis Kelsey, there will be at least, I don't know, 30 people on the internet that will have their search results ping up. Their Google <laughs> News alerts will go up at the mere mention of that <laughs> sentence. All right. George Santos. Let's see what he decides to do. His replacement nominee will be Fran Drescher. Ooh. Fran okay. Drescher put George Santos on the block in week six. George Santos uh, says, uh, revenge is a dish best served cold. So he did backdoor someone, just maybe not the person we expected in Fran Drescher. All right. Fran Drescher, uh, she survived a uh, nomination against Beyonce in mm -hmm. week six. I'm sorry. That, that, that's not that's not right. Uh, that that she was the H O H that sent Beyonce home. Uh, now she's up against Taylor Swift. I believe she was the one who survived the vote against Megan. Yes. All right. So, so this could happen twice. Fran Drescher could pull off the uh, the double Vanessa Rousseau here. Okay. Meanwhile, Taylor Swift and Cocaine Bear are bonding extremely well. I think it's a bit of that like rural Appalachian sort of. You know, I think Cocaine Bear is a big fan of folklore. And so it makes sense they would bond in that sort of agrarian aspect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like that maybe in its down moments, I feel like that Cocaine Bear and Travis Kelsey have a similar vibe. Cocaine Bear has no down moments. It's just <laughs> up, up, up the entire time. Uh, Fran Drescher is informed that her relatives are currently <laughs> stranded at Burning Man. Is this just like a lemming situation where they're like, oh, somebody's relatives are stranded at Burning Man? I'll go help them. Oh, no, now I'm stranded at Burning Man. <laughs> It was very hard to get out. It got very muddy, Mike. After the season's over, they're not going to Todrick's house. They're going to Burning Man to save everybody's save all relatives. The relatives. Yeah. Okay. George Santos. The pressure of the game gets to George Santos, leading him to a public emotional breakdown. Honestly, I'm surprised Could it took never. this long. 
Yeah. No, it seems like the dog chasing the car once he actually caught it. Like, he doesn't know what to do with himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Much like the homeless person's dog that he had a GoFundMe for that he never delivered the money to. Mm. And yes, he actually did that. <laughs> How much money did he raise? Uh, I think it was like $17,000. It's pretty good. All right. So, Taylor Swift and Fran Drescher face eviction. Woo. We have six votes to evict today. Taylor or Fran Drescher. It has been a journey, four years in the making for Taylor Swift to get to this point. It could end right here. Mm -hmm. Fran Drescher has been leading things, uh, a real force in the industry. But how does that translate to the world of Big Brother? I can't wait for Julie Chen Mouvez to ask, what's harder, going on strike against <laughs> the AMPTP or Big Brother? Yeah, I think Big Brother lasts longer, right? Okay. Let's see Cocaine Bear votes to evict Fran Drescher. I mean, they just he just had that bonding moment. Oh, she, I should say, actually. Cocaine Bear is a girl. Mm hmm I didn't know that. Yeah, so Cocaine Bear, I think, is uh, is part of the Swifty squad. Okay. Pedro Pascal votes to evict Fran Drescher. They Whoa, have the lion. what are you doing, Pedro Pascal? Okay. He uh, says, point. like, a... He's really like a Joel from the beginning of The Last of Us coded of like, I can only survive by myself. No loved ones, no burdens to take on. <laughs> he was tired of taking care of Fran Drescher? Exactly. Okay. Plain Lady votes to evict Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right. Now, a Plain Lady showing her true loyalties. Okay. What's Kevin James going to do? Kevin James, I sheepishly vote to evict Fran Drescher. I think that's it, right? Or no, it could be tie. No, it could be, it a, could tie. be a tie. It could be a tie. That's what you said with Beyonce, Mike. Okay. That's true. Tom Wamsgams votes to evict Fran Drescher. Wait, wait, who? Okay. Travis Kelsey. Yes. My God, you were about to go in the doghouse, my so, friend. <laughs> by a vote of five to one, Fran Drescher has been evicted. Wow. And it's so interesting because as Fran Drescher left, Taylor started singing, I'm so sick of running as fast as I can. Wondering if I'd get there quicker to the jury house if I was the Fran. Mm. So Fran Drescher, okay, ready to go be the nanny of the jury house. Or the Franny. Because who is she there with? When did we start the jury? At 11, I guess? Um. So I think you have to ask the chat who's yeah. on the jury. <laughs> I think we'll find out. I'm not, I, I don't know. Does it say jury member? I guess we'll go to the next slide and find out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fran is the first member of the jury. If, if it's the, now, is it a seven person jury? Is it a nine I think we got it. Yeah. We got to bring back the old school seven person jury. We are being informed that Fran Drescher is indeed the first member the of, president the jury. of the jury. Yes. Yes, exactly. Okay. Seven person jury. There you go. Fran Drescher. There you go. Mike. We are down to just Cocaine Bear, George Santos, Pedro Pascal, Plain Lady, and then Sheepish Kevin James, Taylor Swift, Tom Wamsgams, Travis Kelsey. Down to eight. So Taylor survived the first shot to trailer, and they were somehow able to escape. You know, Travis Kelsey finds his way out of a lot of tight coverage, uh, even double coverage, and he's able to come down with those passes. And so I think it makes sense they were able to slip on by, but... You know, there's only so much uh, offense that can put forward. I think a good defense is going to be put forward here. Okay. Lone Ranger is asking, where's double eviction? I don't think Brand Steel could do a double eviction. No, unless you're going with the format of a very specific season. Okay. Mike, it's time for another Alliance event. Okay. Uh, we have just Pedro Pascal and Plain Lady as Fran Drescher has gone and the five-person Alliance, but a shakeup has happened. Pedro Pascal and Plain Lady, the Alliance has dissolved. So. From here on out, the only alliance in the house is the five-person Cocaine Bear, Plain Lady, Sheepish Kevin James, and Trailer. Wow. Pedro Pascal is uh, much like the peoples of Mandalore, destroying his own kind in this moment, saying, F off, Cocaine Bear. F off, Plain Lady. I'm a lone soldier at this moment. Okay. So let's find out who the HOH is going to be this week. Um. It comes down to Taylor Swift, Tom, and Cocaine Bear. And our next HOH is going to be Cocaine Bear. Finally, Woo! has one HOH. Who oh. does, uh, what's in the HOH basket for Cocaine Bear? It's just loose cocaine. There's no letters from home, yeah. the forest. There's no snacks. It's just 
reams upon reams of pure white snow, baby. Okay. And we said uh, the reindeer's game theming was gone. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Winter's back in a whole new way. All right. There you go for Cocaine Bear. Okay. Here's some booger sugar for you, Cocaine Bear. <laughs> I can't wait for Cocaine Bear's nomination ceremony. <laughs> yeah. I bet Cocaine Bear in the robe. That's going to be a vibe. I think Cocaine Bear would try to pie people in the face like Camera did and just like, I don't know, imprint it into their skull permanently with how hardcore she does it. Okay. Cocaine Bear is the new HOH. What so does Cocaine Bear want to do, Mike? Well, so we know there is that fivesome right now, and I would imagine she'd want to stick to it. So I think George Santos is an easy nominee, and I think Pedro Pascal just put himself out as a lone wolf, and we know that bears and wolves do not get along. It's the natural order of the forest, Rob. All right, so Cocaine Bear has uh, two nominees, and they are George Santos and Tom Wamsgams. Yeah, I think that makes sense. He's going for the two other bear-like people in the cast. All right. Do you think uh, do you think Cocaine Bear got pregame advice from Adam Jasinski as to how to play the game? I feel like they they ran in the previous same circles. Maybe uh, a baller, perhaps. Um, didn't Tom uh, want uh, Greg to get him some cocaine on election night? Oh yeah, he did cocaine actually to keep himself up <laughs> because he had so much sleep deprivation. Yeah, so it was a tough night for Tom Wom. He just couldn't sleep. Yeah, exactly. He was tossing and turning. He was getting into arguments left and right. And so he feels a little wound up. And I think it's safe to say George Santos is definitively his cousin, Greg. Yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, George Santos back on the block. I believe this is his fifth nomination of the season. And so, so literally, literally the entire season has been either he's nominated or he's HOH or won the veto. Yes. Okay. So... Let's get to our keys. And of course, uh, or actually, no, the keys happen uh, right before you do the cocaine, right? Yeah, the, key, the, key, the keys often come before the cocaine. The, yeah, not in uh, reverse. Optimal cocaine serving uh, tool. All right. So let's uh, do our veto draw. We get Cocaine Bear has drawn Taylor Swift. George Santos has drawn Sheepish Kevin James. And Tom Wobsgans draws a Travis Kelsey. No house guest choice. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Our veto draw, one man's trash is another man's veto. Oh, I think this would be Cocaine guess... Bear's five hole. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Enter the backyard to see an enormous pile of trash. Within the trash are various veto medallions. How did right? Cocaine Bear lose this? Did she throw it? I think probably got too distracted by the trash. Yeah. Or is there any, uh, is there any you know what in here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or like a fish or something. Mm -hmm. All right, so it comes down to Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, and Tom Wamsgams, and the veto winner is going to be Taylor Swift has won the Golden Power of Veto. I believe, I believe her first, yeah, first veto win. Which, I mean, I think she took your advice to a T, right? To a TS. She laid low. She went to sleep. She went to sleep with Travis Kelsey the first half of the game. Now that she's nominated, she's woken up. She is her own cocaine bear, in a manner of speaking, and she's ready to claw down the competition. Okay, so Taylor Swift has won the power of veto. It would be a surprise if she used it here in this spot. Yeah, I would imagine so, considering that neither one of them are in her alliance. Or could she broker a deal with somebody right now? Could George Santos plead that he's always been a member of her squad? In fact, he was the one that got Scooter Braun to give over <laughs> license to her songs. Wow, okay. Let's see what Taylor Swift is going to do. Taylor Swift will not use the power of veto. So either Tom oh. Wamsgam or George Santos's amazing run will come to an end. I, I'm not feeling good about George right now. Hmm. It's, not, it's not the summer of George for sure. Okay. Back in the house, Travis Kelsey flips the mattress on the bed of Taylor Swift. It's more of a chivalrous gesture. He knows yeah. you can flip your mattress every month or so to make sure that any bed yeah, they, are they were just, uh, like uh, Maybe that there was like uh, some sort of an issue with one side of the mattress. And he's like, All right, let's just, I, I can't find the Clorox wipes. Let's just uh, flip it over. <laughs> yeah, and there's also like, it's not a Tempur-Pedic situation where like he obviously wants it really firm. She wants it really soft. And as a result, they kind of wore different grooves into the bed. Yes, Travis Kelsey also invents a new game. And the house is thrilled to have something new to do. I think he, they're running like scrimmages, right? They're running, running practice drills. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very fun. Then Pedro Pascal 
Clorox is every surface in the house, just in case. I mean, they should be doing this more often. There is a shitting cocaine-fueled bear that you've been living with for nine weeks. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a very good idea. They should be wearing hazmat suits at all times. That mm -hmm. place must smell like the fire festival or Burning Man <laughs> or Burning that is Man. covered in relatives. <laughs> Reminds everybody of their relatives. Yes. All right. I can look at that pile of bear shit and I see home. George Santos and Tom Wom scams. They are going to face off on eviction night. Who do you like to give a better speech here? I mean, George Santos would sit, stand up and say, ever since I invented the game of Big Brother, I've been watching the show for seasons. And I think you all should vote alongside all the deals, all the bonds that we had made. And please just remember about my family that's stranded at Burning Man, about <laughs> my poor kidnapped me niece about my mother who died from cancer as a result of not being you know in 9-11 but being close enough to 9-11 i'm a walking sob story so let the tears dry because i need more botox that's a good speech good job there by george santos uh let's see our votes uh we will have only five votes so only we'll take three to evict here today okay all right here we go pedro pascal Sadly, votes to Vic George Santos. Plain Lady, votes to Vic George Santos. Kevin James, sheepishly, votes to evict George Santos. Oh, there we go. Could be a clean oh. sweep. Let's see what the trailer does. I thought he had it. Oh! Okay. Taylor votes to Vic Tom Wams Gams. Travis Kelsey. This was maybe a sympathy vote for George <laughs> Santos. Yes. Taylor Swift showing so much sympathy to George Santos. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, he did say that he was part of the squad, so <laughs> I think she took that at face value. All right, there you go. Wow, George oh, Santos, Santos goes really hand in hand with getting evicted from houses, so it was only inevitable for him. But what a run for George Santos! Incredible. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think he is definitely the meme queen of the season. We get so many segments every week about how wacky he is, but. Despite him having yeah. that inverted spine, he also has no backbone. And so it made him perfect for this game. I'm really looking forward to George Santos's five hour sit down with Taryn. <laughs> I mean, Taryn, I would love Taryn sit down with Mathrigan. Like <laughs> that is a robotic versus robotic showdown that I think only Philip K. Dick would imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. George Santos, I'm going to love seeing him on the challenge. <laughs> yeah. He's going to take out, uh, he's going to uh, take, take out Tyler in hall brawl. <laughs> he's going to hook up with Tori. <laughs> All right. Well, it was a great run here by George Santos, but you know, he just burned, uh, too hot, too fast. Yeah. I mean, listen, I think he'll be next on too hot to handle. All right, so now we are down to what? Jess, Cocaine Bear, Pedro, Plain Lady, Sheepish Kevin James, Taylor Swift, Tom Wobbs again, Travis Kelsey. So trailer as a showman in the final seven. Mm. I don't know. I think the axe might fall on them soon. It's gotta, right? There's only so many targets. And now we basically have a five-person alliance and then Pedro Pascal and Tom Wamsgans. It's those two men against the world. Disgusting brother style. Okay, let's see. Our next, uh, okay, so hold oh. on. We have our alliance, and then a new alliance has formed. Cocaine Bear and Travis Kelsey have formed a new final two. And look wow. how strong it is, Mike. A nine strength. Wow. I mean, this is the true ride or dies, because if you ride a bear, you die. <laughs> to be candid, like, a cocaine bear is maybe two degrees removed from Jason Kelsey. Yeah, I was going to say, is the cocaine bear actually the uh, lost Kelsey sister? I, I do think that they're going to start a podcast after this. Mm hmm. Wow. Okay. So, cocaine bear and Travis Kelsey, a real strong alliance. Yeah. Travis Kelsey is even more loyal to cocaine bear than Taylor Swift. He's got multiple routes he's running. Okay. Let's see what happens next. Okay. Uh, in our HOH competition, house guests hang on swinging pendulum. So an endurance competition, uh, we have our new HOH is going to be Travis Kelsey. Wow. 
Oh, this guy it's is starting, second HOH. starting to catch heat a little bit. The exact opposite of the Chiefs season. It's uh, not petering out. He started off a little timid, but he's in for his second HOH. Ray, and we got to imagine that this means Tom Wamsgans and Pedro Pascal are going up here. All right. Let's see the nominees for Travis Kelsey. And it is... Tom Wom's going to pitch for Pascal. Mike Bloom is locked in. This guy is loyal, perhaps, to a fault. He has no reason right now to upset anything. I think it makes sense. Go for these two guys. They've also seen the block quite a few times in the past few weeks. So keep things, keep the status quo good for right now because they want the status quo because that puts them in power. Okay, so Pedro Pascal and Tom Wom's games. Gabriel Ruiz now. says in the chats, the HOH bedroom seat's about to get dirty again. A bear was just in the room the previous week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's uh, see our veto draw. Travis Kelsey, uh, his house guest choice selects cocaine bear. Is yeah. Taylor going to get jealous? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's another uh, woman. Another woman in his life? Another woman in his life. If there is anyone to dethrone Taylor Swift as the number one girl in Travis Kelsey's heart, it would be a bear that's been subsisting on hardcore drugs for 10 yeah. weeks. I mean, he's got this relationship with cocaine bear. He's got this relationship with Taylor Swift. Is Travis Kelsey capable of doing two things at once? I think his body of work has proven that might not necessarily be the case, but Hey, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Okay. Pedro Pascal, uh, that he has drawn plain lady to participate at Tom Wom's games. Draws Taylor Swift. All right. So Taylor is going to be playing in this veto. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, our veto draw, our veto competition is going to be our garden of veto. Okay. House guests uh, must each lie in the troughs uh, for no more than one hour. Okay. So it's all about counting and internal math. Okay. And it comes down to Travis Kelsey, Cocaine Bear, and Tom Wamsgams. <laughs> and... The winner of the power veto is Tom Wamsgams has won the golden power veto. He will I mean, come down. This is a man that is used to waiting, right? He has slowly meticulously he works in television. Yeah. He worked his way up the ladder of just sitting by and waiting for the minutes, days, hours, years to tick by before he can finally ascend to become the crown Royale. So I think in a competition all about, about patience, Tom's Wamsgams has that of a saint. Okay, so Pedro Pascal, Tom Wamsgams. So this is interesting. So Tom's going to save himself. Travis Kelsey will be forced to nominate one of his allies. We know it's not going to be Cocaine Bear. We would do not think it will be Cocaine Bear. We do not think it will be Taylor Swift, which leaves Plain Lady, Sheepish Kevin James. And I think that's it. Yeah, it could be Taylor, though. Could be Plain Lady. Let's see. Travis Kelsey, very dramatic moment at the veto ceremony. He will ah! nominate Taylor Swift. <laughs> uh, Karma is a guy who plays for the Chiefs indeed. Wow. wow he, bought, he bought the NFL media that said that their season was all Taylor Swift's fault. Wow. You know, there's a lot of people who feel like that Taylor Swift is the reason why the Chiefs have gone downhill. Exactly. So he was listening to those voices. I mean, listen, let's remember this whole thing started because Travis Kelsey talked on his podcast about how he went to a Taylor Swift concert mm -hmm. and he was butthurt that he didn't give her a friendship bracelet or she didn't accept one that he had made for her. I think that came back around uh, and maybe much like uh, another house guest that gave away friendship bracelets. It's going to lead to a non-winning game for them. Should the Swifties be upset with Travis Kelsey or Cocaine Bear? Do you got to go after the head of the snake here? I think that as much as Pete, as the Swifties will storm National Forest to try to get Cocaine Bear's family that is assumingly on its way to Burning Man at this moment, Travis Kelsey was the one that took out the hit <laughs> on his girlfriend. The good news, though, it's going to be such a fire album. It's going to okay. be such an incredible album in response to this. All right. Let's see what's happening in the house right now. All right. So Taylor Swift and Plain Lady bond extremely well. Okay. This could be what Taylor needs. Okay. As Pedro Pascal did the thing. <laughs> that describes Pedro's game really laying low this week. 
All right. There are just four votes. All right. So Taylor, Taylor needs two plus Travis Kelsey to get worn down enough to relent on nominating his own girlfriend. Okay. Cocaine bear. You have to think is going to want Taylor Swift out. Whatever Travis wants, cocaine bear will follow as the Bible dictates. Okay. Cocaine bear. Votes with Pedro Pascal. Okay. 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 <laughs> Lauren says, y'all, I'm scared. Come in, mother. <laughs> Are you speaking to someone at your door? Okay. <laughs> All right. Then plain lady will vote to evict. Pedro, I imagine. Let's okay. See. Pedro yeah. Pascal. Okay, so Taylor Swift's guaranteed at least the tie. Okay. Boy, if Travis Kelsey had to break a tie and vote to <laughs> Taylor Swift, that would be high drama. It would be the biggest betrayal we've Kevin seen James, in five years of this. Usually votes to evict. Pedro Pascal. No. Taylor survives okay. after Mitch, you, you know what, Mike? The, you know what it could be? They had the votes. Could Taylor have just gone up as a pawn? They they had the votes. Why would these morons do this? And I refer to everybody in they this house. They had Plain Lady. They had Sheepish Kevin James. They had Cocaine Bear. Why would Taylor Swift? She's been doing this for five years. Why would she volunteer to be a pawn? Why would she go to her own boy toy and say, I'm good. I know you don't want to get any blood on your hands. I'm good sitting on the block next to Pedro Pascal. What was there? Who was the other nominee? It'd be Sheepish Kevin. Oh, remember, it was Tom Wamsgan. So it would have to be either Sheepish no, Kevin I, James or yeah, Plain so, Lady who goes up. So I feel like that. I mean, it's possible that they could. Taylor could say, all right, put me on the block. I, I haven't uh, like uh, I haven't sat there in a minute. I mean, if that's the case, that is the biggest of big brain moves. All right. They trust each other. Like it's getting down to it, Mike. There's not that many nominees. Yeah. And we're only going to have uh, six left after this but one of them will not be pedro pascal indeed he yeah. was the last of us outside of that five person yes. alliance i mean and beth makes a good point mike one is a bear high on coke one is a woman suffering from delusions and one is a 25 year old meme uh they are a crack team of strategists I pronounce mimi beth please <laughs> all right so by a vote of four to zero pedro pascal is finally evicted from the big brother house Okay, this is the way. Yeah, though so he's going to have incredible jury outfits in the finale. So we're down to the final six. It's Cocaine Bear, Plain Lady, Sheepish Kevin James, Taylor Swift is in an incredible spot to potentially secure her first win. How did she survive that? I think it was an inside job. I think that they were all like, look, the, the, the this alliance of Cocaine Bear, Plain Lady, where we were like, oh, is this even a real alliance? Uh, look at them now. Yeah, this five sum dominated the game. Absolutely. And so now Tom is, as he was with the Roy family, on the outside looking in, a parasite trying to feel the yacht breezes on his face as he attempts to navigate this game either with deck shoes or not. Okay. Let's go to our uh look at our alliances here. Okay, so we have the five. Inside the five, we have our uh brand new uh, final two, Cocaine Bear and Travis Kelsey. Okay, uh, let's see our next HOH competition. It comes down to Tom Wamsgams, Plain Lady, Taylor Swift. Kind of a must-win HOH for Tom Wamsgams. And he does not win wow. it. Taylor Swift is the new Final Six HOH. Back-to-back -back trailer HOHs. Oh, boy, that room is going to be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom Wamsgams. You got to think he's going to see the block again here. Now, the question is... Does Taylor return the favor? Is Does what she... is good for the goose good for the gander? Yeah, we shall see. Is Taylor going to say, all right, Travis, we're part of a team now. It's your time to block instead of run the route. All right. And our nominees are going to be Tom Wamsgams and Travis yeah. Kelsey. She's got that on lock. She convinced him to do it. Okay. So let's see. Right, everybody's going to play in the veto. Yes. Okay, we're down to the final six. It's a free-for-all. Final six veto. And our veto 
House guests dressed in pig outfits. Oh no! Swing into a mud pit. Izzy is bring, shook, except she's not reading this because she's still stranded at Burning Man. Back to the individual stations. Okay, Kevin James, I would think would probably do good at this, but no. Can't, All right. Again, he cannot take his hands out of his pants, so it limits mobility. Plain lady, Travis Kelsey, Cocaine Bear, and the winner of the veto is. Cocaine bear. This was a, a, a five hole for cocaine bear. Now here is the conundrum. Cocaine bear seeing her number one, or should I say, what's his number? 87, I think. Travis Kelsey. <laughs> yeah. On the block. Does she use it on him and force Taylor Swift to get more blood on her hands? Make her see red. In a I think cocaine speaking. bear will use the power of veto. So then she would have to put up sheepish Kevin James or plain lady. Mm -hmm. I love this. This is a little messy. This is like shades of D and Austin, right? Like Travis and Taylor are in a showmance, but they're like subtly doing things that are without, not in the best interest of the other party. Okay. It's a lot of that going on this month. Okay. Uh, Cocaine bear will use the power veto on Travis Kelsey. Wow. Okay. And Taylor looks at cocaine bear and says, look what you made me do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go, Jack. Same wavelength. <laughs> All right. So, here is the replacement nominee. Doesn't matter, right? I don't know. Sheepish Kevin James. I get a feeling because I know that Travis, uh, Taylor and Sh and Plain Lady have been bonding since like mid-season. So, I think she'd want to yeah. do her a solid. And then Sheepish Kevin James replied. Yeah, like if you need to blindside somebody, he's <laughs> the perfect person to do so. He would respond the most favorably at this point. All right. Here we go, Mike. Let's check out what's going on in the house. Plain lady, uh, she built the Boston cop slide. She wanted to mimic Kevin James, as we all do. Yep. And uh, Bowie James approaches Tom Wom's gams and wants to know, how was their game change? I'm going to say for the better when they join the mafia. Oh, this is a rerun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Much like every episode of King of Queens that we've seen. All right. So, comes down to it. Tom Wom's gams and Kevin James here uh, at the final six. what is this final final six okay three votes cocaine bear i got to evict yeah i think it i think tommy's time is up yeah here. we're like julie chin moonves uh, cocaine bear has been working with sheepish kevin james this whole time it would be a surprise if they voted to evict sheepish kevin james uh, hopefully she does not blow it <laughs> all right cocaine bear votes to evict tom wom games mm hmm Plain Lady has been in a five-person alliance with Tom Wom with <laughs> Sheepish Kevin James. Oh, well, it too would be a surprise for her to evict him. Or will she join the Mile High Club and decide to take Tom Wom's scans forward? Tom Wom scams. Travis Kelsey has been working with <laughs> Sheepish Kevin James. All right. Travis Kelsey votes to evict. Tom Wom's Gams. There we go. Five Unanimous. Zero. We said it was a much swing for Tom Wom's Gams. We weren't joking. Tom, you have been evicted. Yeah, and so Tom is going to turn to the rest of the house America and, decides. and say, I wonder if the sad I'd be without you would be less than the sad I get from being with you all. It's beautiful. All right. The final five. They did it. Mission accomplished. They all celebrate cookout style. Yeah, <laughs> they're jumping up and down in the storage room. Ah! We never named this alliance. Yeah, we kind of did, weren't buying it back when Beyonce was part of this alliance. Well, yeah, because they were all splitting you know their what? votes. Beyonce's angels. Yeah, they said they're going to do it for Beyonce. Do it for Beyonce. Beyonce got this alliance together, and then ultimately, uh, she got voted out, and then uh, the rest of her alliance made it to the end. Yeah, her impact. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Let's go ahead and then see where we go from here with the final five. Who will be the final five HOH? So we know that Travis Kelsey can't play. So cocaine. Oh, no. I thought Travis. Oh, no. Yeah. Taylor, Taylor was, was HOH. HOH. Yes. Okay. All right. So then plain lady, Travis Kelsey, cocaine bear. And the final five HOH is going to be. Travis, Travis Kelsey. Kelsey. All right, him and Taylor Swift are trading are, off are, HOHs. I think we're getting a real Jackson Hawley situation right now. Shouldn't have left this power couple in that can just beast competitions at the end. Okay. All right. But 
Will, does Travis Kelsey want to sit in the end with Taylor Swift? That's where the drama really comes in. Yeah, so there's only four possible people to choose from here. I think You would he... think sheepish Kevin James and Plain Lady will be on the block. I don't know, Rob. I think Travis drew first blood, and the, the, the bleeding is not going to stop. I think this is a grievous injury more so than cocaine bear mauling somebody. All right. You want to see the keys? You see yeah, the let's see the money? keys okay. right now. All right. Imagine Cocaine Bear trying to handle a key out of a key wheel. Yes. Okay. And then not using it to do more cocaine. Okay. <laughs> um, Cocaine Bear, you are safe. That's his number one. Yeah. It's Taylor, obvious. Wake up and smell the cocaine. But don't too closely. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then who else is safe? Kevin James. You yeah. Are safe. It's Taylor Swift and Plain Lady. Oh boy. Oh, Travis, you son of a bitch. Mm hmm. That MFR is not a real man. All right. So let's go to the veto. Everybody's in. All right. Everybody so, play the veto. Uh, this is interesting. I mean, I think also putting Taylor and Plain Lady up against each other is a smart move because they have been working very closely together. They haven't made like an out and out alliance, but I do think. He's looking at Plain Lady as Taylor's number one. And mm -hmm. so I think he wants to cut those options and keep Taylor the only option that she can pursue with. All right. Let's see what happens. It comes down to Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, oh, and Plain Lady. The oh. HOH and the two nominees. Okay. In third place is Taylor Swift. Okay. The winner of the veto is going to be Travis Kelsey. Wow. First time the HOH has won the uh, veto this season. Yeah, he doubled up right now. Discount double check, I suppose, too, <laughs> since his quarterback loves State Farm so much and coach. Okay. So, do you think Patrick Mahomes sent like a, a letter to, or a video to Travis Kelsey? Mm, um, maybe. Maybe. Hey, hey, Trav, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> we really miss you here. You're the only one that will catch my passes. <laughs> Mike, let's go to our veto ceremony. We don't think that Travis Kelsey would take Taylor Swift off the block, right? Why would he do that? Like, uh, gotcha, bazinga. Mm -hmm. You know what? Actually, I do think Travis Kelsey would say bazinga in 2023. All right. Travis Kelsey does not use the power of veto. It will be wow. either Taylor Swift or Plainly. Now, oh. Taylor Swift has had some heartbreaking defeats in the annual Best of the Year brand steal. To be put on the block by her own showmance, maybe this one might sting the most. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is the most brutal betrayal she's experienced throughout her five seasons. Now, I imagine that Travis thinks that wherever he wants the votes to go, Cocaine Bear will go. And then you get a tie guaranteed, right? Because there are only two people voting this week. Okay. Now, the pressure of the game is getting to Taylor Swift, who has a public emotional breakdown. And everyone in the house says, you need to calm down. <laughs> and Plain Lady, who's feeling down, prevails on the faith of a mustard seed. She's nothing but faith. She relies on her own gut and intuition. It has gotten her this far in life. Yeah. Beth says, y'all... But think of the music. We need this to happen so Taylor Swift can evolve into her ultimate form. I fear so much a Taylor Swift scorned in this way. She may go Super Saiyan by the end of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thundercat says, uh, Cocaine Bear is not a girl's bear. <laughs> it's a guy's bear. Definitely a guy's bear. Okay. So ironically, Travis Kelsey plays for the Chiefs, not the Bears. All right. Let's see our, we'll have two, two votes. votes. Two votes. So cocaine a Bear and she's just Kevin James. Travis Kelsey. Okay. Cocaine Bear will vote to evict. Oh! Kevin James. No one can come between me and my Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin James votes to evict. Plain oh! Lady. It's a tie vote. It will go <laughs> to Travis Kelsey. Oh, this is invigorating. The deciding vote to evict either Taylor Swift or Plain Lady.
Is Taylor Swift just shaking her head like, not like this, not Travis like this. Travis Kelsey, please stand before the house and tell us your one vote to evict. And so he's going to reply, the capacity to live in the past by memory can also emancipate the individual from the tyranny of the present. With that wow. being said, I vote to evict. Play, Play lady. lady! Love, love will survive. <laughs> I cannot believe this. The haters gonna hate. But Cocaine good God, bear shake will not it off. Be happy. Cocaine bear got left out in the cold. Wow. Cocaine bear got played. And what do you think that? speed moment was like when <gasps> travis kelsey cast that one vote to evict plain lady i'm mean, she gave him the what for yeah <laughs> you're not real man yeah yes it was like a kylan xavier situation where julie's like a uh, plain lady please we please need to come out of the, the house plane. no no i am not done yet i am not leaving and there's you a four not get rid of me that easily. There's a four hour delay where everyone gets taken into the nether region for a time while that situation gets de-escalated. That vote is not real. And George Santos is like, I agree. Stop the count. <laughs> <laughs> Rigged. She's like smashing the set like Patrick Mahomes <laughs> after the Kadarius Tony penalty last week. <laughs> Come on, Travis. What are you doing? She's costing us the, to the one seed. We're down to the final four. Cocaine Bear, Sheepish wow. Kevin James, Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey. I, I felt like I just did a line of cocaine. That was such an up and down experience of an eviction vote. Boy, we have this whole love triangle of Travis. It is a love triangle, right? That Travis yeah. Kelsey, that he's torn between Taylor Swift and Cocaine Bear. As we all are. Yes. Yes. Uh, and then you have then the love triangle, then the fourth wheel. <laughs> Truly sheepish Kevin James. The one who's just there. He's Alan, definitively. I know we said goodbye to Barbenheimer a while ago, but there are no other sheepish Kevin James. He's just sheepish Kevin James. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see our final four HOH. Now, right, final four HOH, that uh, is a good one to win, right? Because you can yeah. play in the final three HOH. Yeah, and we know that Travis Kelsey cannot, cannot play. Cannot play. Oh, All wait, right. is there anything anything doing with the Lionses? No. Nope. Okay. Je the, it's just that plain lady's not there anymore. All right. So, it comes down to Cocaine Bear, Taylor Swift, and Kevin James... And the final four HOH is going to be Cocaine Bear. Oh, okay. okay. Second HOH of the season for Cocaine Bear. You so feel like is, that this Travis is Kelsey is going to be safe, right? No, but remember, the final four nominations don't mean bear shit. It yeah. all comes down to that veto. And so mm -hmm. if he doesn't pull that out, there's a sizable chance he gets evicted yeah, so at four. Just immunity for Cocaine Bear, who will be yes. in the final three. Welcome to finale night, Cocaine Bear. Okay. All right. So... Cocaine Bear is going to make our nominations probably sheepish Kevin James and Taylor Swift. Yeah, I think uh, despite how burned she may feel, I think she's going to keep that end of the bargain up. Okay. All right. So big veto coming up here in the final four. All, All right. right. Last veto of the season. All right. So the person who will be casting the deciding vote here at the final four will be either one of Cocaine Bear, Travis Kelsey, or Kevin James. And the winner is going to be Travis Kelsey wow. has won the Golden Power of Edo. Travis Kelsey, you have another opportunity here. Do you go to the end sandwiched between these two beautiful vixens? Or do you cut the goatish Kevin James and decide, okay, this is someone I want to take to the end with me? This is going to be two votes in a row that Travis Kelsey has the opportunity to save Taylor Swift. He just did it in the last vote. This but would be incredible if he did that only to completely spurn her the very next week. But isn't sheepish Kevin James the ultimate goat to yeah, take the, it's the final he's, he's three? He's goatish Kevin James. <laughs> he's won 
No head of households. No he vetoes. Won, he won, no, he won a head of household. Did he? He, won, he won the disco one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back in week four. He did uh, one, uh, one uh, HOH. He has not won a veto. He's done almost nothing in this game except just be a number in the alliance. Also, look at this freaking equitable competitions. My tight end. Travis Kelsey's won like the past four out of five weeks. One of these competitions. Right. Um. Taylor won one, but uh, it's been two for Cocaine Bear and two for Travis Kelsey here in the home stretch. Oh, uh, my God. Okay. All right. Um, we don't think Travis Kelsey will use uh, the veto here, yeah, right? No, no, he no, no. So it will be Kevin James and Taylor Swift. All right. One more day in the house. Let's see. One of them can tank their Taylor games. Swift flips the mattress on the bed of Travis Kelsey. It was just more, again, a, a luxury of like, oh, honey, I think we need to get things back. Yes. It's been a month since we did it last time. Cocaine Bear and Taylor Swift are bonding extremely well. Could uh, be sucking up to her jury vote. Ah, uh, menage a trois in the making. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So, Michael, here we go. Oh. There will be one vote. Travis Kelsey will have to decide what to do. Are you ready to see Travis Kelsey's vote? Uh, my heart is pounding right now. I'm ready to see if love wins or dies in this moment. Travis Kelsey has to choose between Taylor Swift and sheepish Kevin James to go to the final three. Travis Kelsey, very sadly, votes to evict Taylor Swift. Uh You buffoon! He wants to win, Mike. You Paleolithic Cro-Magnon! Why are you doing this? She got so close. It was her fifth time. This season was hers. You couldn't give that much to her, you walking thumb! <laughs> Cocaine bear? <laughs> Cocaine made him do it. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. So Taylor, for Taylor Swift, she gets so close. This seems to be the story for her. She evicted Sari Field only to inherit her legacy in this brain steel. And I think as Travis Kelsey stands and casts this vote, he says, like he tweeted back in 2009, this teacher tried to call on me in class like I wasn't paying attention. Well, I was, and I didn't fold under pressure. Dub. Mm -hmm. And I think Travis Kelsey might take the dub here. I think he might. I, I mean, think if he sits next to Cocaine Bear, that's going to be tougher sledding. But I think he's got a good chance to win this season. Yeah, we've got a real like a uh, BB25 final three here uh, with uh, <laughs> Travis Kelsey and Cocaine Bear. Uh, really the Matt and Jag of it all with Bowie James. So I guess the question is, uh, who is who in this situation? Who is Matt and who is Jag? Yeah. Um, I think that uh, has Cocaine Bear had the better social game? I would say that Travis has certainly won more competitions and gotten more blood yeah. on his hands than well, Cocaine Bear has. So, no, it's actually been... Uh, the, so, Cocaine Bear has won one HOH twice and three POVs, and mm -hmm. Travis Kelsey has won three HOHs and two POVs. So, competition-wise, I think that they're equal. Right. I guess the question is, how, has Travis Kelsey pissed more people off going into the jury house? Yeah, I do think that Travis Kelsey has probably come across as very cocky, uh, definitely getting some penalties for taunting and perhaps some ejections from the game as well. The refs certainly are not happy, but we'll see if any red flags are thrown. I'm not talking about coaches' challenges. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then sheepish Kevin James. Does Bowie James have a shot at this? I would not say particularly unless we get like a very bitter jury right now. Okay. All right. So there is this alliance, but Cocaine Bear and Travis Kelsey, I think they want to sit in the end with each other. I think so. I think they want to ride this until the end. They've gotten this far. They're not, they're not going to do the season a disservice by being like, are we really going to let a picture from 2000 win a 2023 brand <laughs> deal? All right, so our final HOH, is this just part one of the HOH? It okay. is. So this is an endurance competition. Right. Hold on to out. the key. Cocaine Bear is out. Yeah, because she grabbed the key and started doing coke off of it. So she okay. got disqualified and immediately. Part one HOH winner is going to be Travis Kelsey. Yeah, I mean, of course. pretty predictable. 
All right. Guy is a beast. I don't know why All you right. let him in the end game, people. All right. Then, part two of the HOH. The two losers of part one individually compete in the second part. They must climb a building in order to locate the pictures of 13 departed house guests, rearrange them in eviction Ooh. order. Now, this is going to be this tough. Could go this either way. Is, this does require a use of hands, though. So, Sheepish Kevin James is automatically at a disadvantage. But Cocaine okay. Bear has the thinking power of a bear. All right. And so... The winner of part two of the HOH is going to be Cocaine Bear. Okay. All right. And so. GG, KJ. All right. So Kevin James, Bowie James, <laughs> is going to be sitting on the sideline. Um, yeah. Unless one of them, uh, and they might be cheer captain while Taylor Swift's in the bleachers on jury night. Okay. So they will answer questions from the jurors. Do you think Who they're going to do rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> so maybe they'll do rock, paper, scissors for the part two. All right. Mike, who's got this? I think Travis Kelsey wants this final win to get out the final bit of uh, eking out over Cocaine Bear as the most dominant competition performer. I think that edge is going to power him even above the pure profuse amount of drugs pumping through the veins of this beast. All right, here we go. And the final HOH is going to be Travis Kelsey. I mean, this man... Playing maybe one of the strongest games we've seen through five Dominating this. Dominant game, but it's not just about the comp wins, okay? Uh, so, Travis Kelsey has a decision to make. Okay, will Travis Kelsey bring his best bud in the house, Cocaine Dare, to the end, or... No take... bud, blow. <laughs> Sheepish Kevin James to the final two. This will I, be a big mistake, right? For that, yeah. uh, that Travis Kelsey will probably take Cocaine Bear, but he should take Bowie James. And listen, Travis Kelsey has played a number of years in MetLife Stadium, but he's no Cody Calafiore. That's the closest he's got to being from Jersey. I do not think he's going to make... Actually, he might make a big mistake here and take mm -hmm. Cocaine Bear to the end. That's a I nine think he'll take Cocaine Rob. Bear to the end. Okay. Let's see. Travis Kelsey on finale night. Stands in front of the house and says he will evict Kevin James. And Kevin James just stands up and goes, damn it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> God damn it. I was so close. Yeah. But Kevin James has a jury question ready to go. How did your game change for, <laughs> I'm going to say the better when you joined the mafia with, with cocaine bear and I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, it's finale night. Yep, everyone is dressed to the nines except for Kevin James, who's wearing that stupid T-shirt and <laughs> long, long sleeve shirt over it. Here we go. You ready? It's Travis yeah. Kelsey and it's Cocaine Bear. Really the most gruesome twosome we have ever seen in brand steel history. Mm-hmm, yeah. Now, there was a very nice scene during the, like we flash back in one of the episodes where, Travis Kelsey took the time to learn bear language during the course of the season to communicate better with yeah. cocaine bear. He also that learned how to, sweet. he learned how to take cocaine just so they could be on the same level. Mm -hmm. And that informed him to take out Taylor Swift. Yep. All right. Could it's you just imagine wild ride. the penultimate episode of Travis Kelsey, a bear and a Kevin James meme sitting around the table going, remember that time when we thought Grimace and George Santos were the same person? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Remember that time that plain lady made a police officer slide? <laughs> remember okay. that time Pedro Pascal cooked us daddy dinner? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's uh, then see our jury. Our jury is going to be beautiful. Okay. Uh, the president of the jury is Fran Drescher, mm -hmm. George Santos, Pedro Pascal, Tom Wamsgams, Plain Lady, Taylor Swift, and Sheepish Kevin James. Now, should we do a bit of jury jeopardy here? It's impossible to predict Baron Steele, but how do you think things would go? Because these two have been in thick as thieves, yeah. but they haven't, they weren't really in any like explicit alliances outside of. Kevin James, Taylor Swift, and Plain Lady, but we don't know who they would favor. Yeah, the I think that the one thing to watch here is the maybe bitter jury factor here for Taylor Swift. Now, 
If Taylor Swift votes for Cocaine Bear, will it be a very polarizing take on the internet that's called Taylor Swift a bitter juror? Yeah, it's an interesting thing because I would imagine also the Swifties come in with like, it's okay to be a bitter juror. Your feelings are your feelings. I mean, it should be noted, Travis Kelsey, and this is very much like Jag, was the one who single-handedly took out the last three boots. He in bathed in their blood. Exactly. And that's just not how he uh, takes in things after a hard Thursday night practice. He actually did that. So the question is, will they respect that? Or are we going to say cocaine bears paws may be covered in cocaine, but they're not covered with our evictions? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Only one way to find out, Mike. Okay. Also remember that cocaine bear wasn't an alliance with Pedro Pascal and Fran Drescher that was broken as well. Will that be acknowledged or also spurned? They both have some ops coming into this final two. Okay. All right. Here we go. Cocaine bear and Travis Kelsey wait for the winner to be revealed. All right. Let's get to our votes. All right. Do you want to start with Fran Drescher? Or start yeah, with let's Kevin work... James? No, let's start with Kevin James. Cause he'll be the most milk toast vote out there. Okay. Could go either way. Flip a coin. I'll say cocaine uh, or that Kevin James votes for Travis Kelsey to win. I think so as well. Much like Bowie Jane was like, all right, we're, I'm going to vote for Jag, even though he deprived me of my chance of sitting in the final two and $75,000. How did your game change for, I'm going to say the better, when you joined the mafia with Matt and I? Okay. Do you think Kevin James also has his hair in little pigtails? I think so. All right. Kevin James uh, votes for the winner and votes to for Travis Kelsey to win. All right. Now let, let's go to Fran Drescher now. Fran Drescher. Taylor Swift's vote I want to say for last, no matter what. Okay. Fran Drescher, um, that she was evicted when George Santos nominated Taylor Swift and Pedro Pascal. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Pedro Pascal won the veto, which caused Fran Drescher to be backdoored. She and has her watched all the tape. Yes, exactly. She has reviewed everything, all the details. Uh, and her bouffant doesn't even fit on screen it goes all the way to the ceiling of the cbs radford lot okay fran drescher has voted for travis kelsey okay it'd be a two zero for travis kelsey what about george santos now he is the member of the jury who has come the closest to drugs mm -hmm. and so i do think he might have some understanding with the cocaine bear okay george santos has voted for Cocaine bear. Like seeks like. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think actually George Santos wants to run for president and is possibly scoping out cocaine bear as a VP. As a running mom. mate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think would help the ticket. Pedro Pascal. I think Pedro Pascal. So he had a long, long time with cocaine bear. Mm -hmm. Is that going to mean He was anything? in the Pablo Escobar alliance. Exactly. Will that mean anything in the long run? Also, uh, Pedro Pascal went out on Travis Kelsey's HOH. Yeah, so I think Pedro Pascal might be a vote for Cocaine Bear here. Let's see. Pedro Pascal votes for Cocaine Bear. Wow. It's two to two. All right. Let's go to old Tommy here. Let's go okay. to Tom Wamsgans. Now, Tom is a bit of a simp. Wow. If this mic, we get this to 3-3 three, three, and it comes down to Taylor Swift to vote for the win. I could just explode. Incredible. In that moment. Like, Incredible. Okay. Wake me up on January 1st because that would be a perfect way to end my year. Okay. Tom Wams Gams. Okay. Uh, that he did go out on Taylor Swift's HOH. Yes. But I also think he was nominated Tom... up against Travis Kelsey and Cocaine Bear won the veto, chose not to use it. Tom memorably once ate the chicken off of Logan Roy's plate, something that Cocaine Bear and actually maybe mm -hmm. Travis Kelsey would do as well on occasion. Okay. Uh, has played a uh, bear on the flare before. <laughs> Is that the game that they came up with yes, in the that house? Was the game they came up in the house. Okay. All right. Tom Wamsgams votes for Cocaine Bear. Woo! Okay. Well, we may not even get to Taylor Swift. If Plain Lady is a vote for Cocaine yeah, Bear. Yeah, this honestly could be cocaine bear near unanimous victory, with of course Kevin James being on the outs as he just sheepishly walked to the jury. Now it was on Travis Kelsey's HOH that plain lady sat on the block with Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey stood before the house when it was a tied vote and voted to evict plain lady. I, I think she's going to be vindictive 
here. Travis I, Kelsey did a bad job with this jury. I think Plain Lady is going to say Cocaine Bear is based on a true story. That mf -er is real, and so is her game. Mm -hmm. All right. Plain Lady has voted for Cocaine Bear to win. <laughs> Cocaine Bear is the winner of the best of 2023 brand. See that? What did Taylor Swift do? Cocaine <laughs> Bear! <laughs> Taylor's karma! Wow. Karma is a bear fueled by cocaine. <laughs> All right. Add it in, Taylor. That's her new lyric. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible. Cocaine I think she went to that jury, and I think, I, yeah. I think she poisoned everything against Travis Kelsey. Yes. I mean, Cocaine Bear, first off, talks and talks and talk. you know, like uh mm -hmm. cocaine bear is super high on coke and just talk talking to everybody in the house and travis kelsey had a horrible social game yeah he got talked into evicting all of his friends all of his showmances and so terrible job we actually uncovered the only two travis kelsey votes there would have definitely won the game if he took sheepish kevin james to the final two instead took a juggernaut in cocaine bear to mm -hmm. the end Literally. and deserved to lose yeah i think this is one of the biggest chokes that we have seen in big brother in quite some time it's something that we thought jag was gonna do when he took matt to the end now we see the other side of that equation i mean rob diversity equity inclusivity is so important here not only the first woman winner we've had since lizzo uh but also the first bear winner the first mm -hmm. black bear winner at that and so a lot for the legacy i think a lot of future players are going to come in here being like cocaine bear inspired me mm -hmm. the reason why i'm here is because of cocaine bear yeah Cocaine Bear did it. The chat is going crazy with all of the bears. And Beth says Cocaine Bear won because she said she would use the winnings to save everybody's family from Burning Man. <laughs> well, it's, well, what's really speech. interesting is that some people thought Cocaine Bear tanked it in the uh in the post eviction speeches you know in the in the final words and goodbye messages because all she said was rawr, rawr, rawr. but because nobody knew bear except for travis kelsey nobody knew she was insulting them so luckily due mm -hmm. to a miscommunication cocaine bear comes through with the win and plenty of money to continually fund her hardcore drug habit mm -hmm. yeah Left her travis kelsey in the dust for dust. yeah first cocaine using big brother winner in years mike i know listen adam kaczynski walked so that cocaine bear could run and jump into an ambulance mm -hmm. so incredible job here for cocaine bear winner of the best of big of 2023 brand steel and isn't this proving that we're not too separate from the animals that an animal can come in and beat a bunch of humans to win a season of Big Brother. Mm hmm Yep. As cocaine rains down from the rafters. Uh, incredible I job. just want to walk out to that cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's just uh, get... Okay. Fan favorite comes down to Fran Drescher, George Santos, and Kevin James. I mean... George Santos brings controversy, right? He brings the clicks. He brings the eyes to him. I can imagine a certain part of the fan base would be... Voting in multitudes for George Santos. George Santos got third place. No, he insists he got first place. <laughs> okay, and the winner of the fan favorite player of the season is Fran Drescher. <laughs> they love me. <laughs> America's Fran Britt player, Fran Drescher. Mm hmm. Okay, AFD. Then uh, we have all of our statistics. All of the placements and the popularity. weekly popularity. <laughs> I don't know. This is like kind of a mess. Cocaine Bear was uh, super popular from like uh, from week one. Interesting. Barbenheimer plunged in the first couple weeks. I think yeah. it was just too hot and cold. Jokers hated Barbenheimer, just yeah. like Cam. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay. So yeah, it looks like George Santos stayed for a good amount on top of the polls, but then Fran Drescher, I think once she was evicted, people thought she was a robbed queen and decided to give her AFP. Okay, there you go. All right, and there's a summary of the season. And Mike, can you believe it? Another year in the books. And what a great book it was, truly. Uh, 
we did it. The fifth annual Brand Steel. Dare I say our best yet? This was very exciting. This I mean, was this great. was such a great story. And there so, were so uh, many good narratives. Job. And really, Cocaine Bear ran such a, for lack of a better term, clean game from beginning to end. You know, she did get her paws dirty a, n- a, c- a number of times. One HOH twice. Got caught a little bit empty-handed, empty-pawed on that uh, Taylor Swift attempted eviction. But at the same time, she took that white rock to the hoop and was able <laughs> to slam dunk it in the end. All right. Well, Mike, I don't know how we're ever going to top this one, but I'm just going to consider if we get to the best of 2024, I'm going to consider that a win. Yeah, I think so. I think existence should be a character of just we all made it, everybody. I mean, listen, if this cast was any example, no matter what, we are going to be in for an absolutely wild ride of a year because that's just the time that we live in. But I'm so grateful for not only the opportunity to memorialize it and talk about it with you rob in a very silly form but to everyone who was watching all near three hours of this and following yeah. along with every single stupid iota that we spoke about yeah you all were incredible uh this was so fun uh so much energy around the end of year brand steel from all of the casting through uh running it through with you all and mike you were just on fire today Oh, thank you, Rob. Likewise, as well. Uh, I always really relish getting to do these. It's an opportunity for us to just speak about random shit and as much as, uh, you know, the end of the year is about the reality TV seasons that we usually cover are over. We get to loosen our belt a bit for the holidays and just be like, yeah, let's throw a bunch of uh, animals and characters and empires into a Big Brother season and see if it plays out. Listen, I'm just going to say, I think this season trumps big brother 25 personally wow okay best big brother season of the year yeah i'm gonna say that i think this should be the canonical big brother 25 i think whenever people are online (laughs) talking about big brother winners and they say like i can't believe jag won last year you respond internet by saying oh you mean cocaine bear Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, I, I think like a Jag one that was fine, but this is a different season, you know. Let's Very different yeah. season, but so let Jag so have fun. his win. But this was a, uh, an entirely, maybe certainly a much more exciting end game. Oh, most definitely. And special thanks again to not everybody, not only everybody for tuning in today, but like the support all year long as well. I think I speak on behalf of Rob and myself when I say that we are not able to do any of this malarkey nor any of the other coverage we do throughout the year if it isn't for support like you all. I know that it's been a difficult year, to say the least, I think, with a lot of stuff going on that was obviously not addressed in this podcast. Uh, yeah, you think Anthony Reels, uh, Anthony Reels says you think Cocaine Bear is going to be on TikTok asking for more money. I mean, she yeah. already blew her she blew her, her money on blow. So I I'm think that she's going to be in debt. Cocaine Bear is going to destroy that Wizard of Oz room at Todrick's house. <laughs> Well, they're all going to Burning Man, remember, mm-hmm. to rescue the and relatives. And also, uh, that v- bad news, Todrick, I don't think George Santos is leaving. <laughs> I'm your roommate now. In fact, I own the house. <laughs> yeah. George Santos is moving in. Ah, yes, my relative Judy Garland wore this dress in The Wizard of Oz. hmm Yeah. Uh, well, this was one equivalent of the slop over the course of three hours, and this was a ridiculous amount of fun, so... I can't wait to see what happens next year. You know, yeah. we'll, we're going to have Survivor 44 and the Amazing Race 36 coming up. We're going to have, of course, Big Brother 26 in the summer. And before you know it, Rob, we'll blink and it'll be December 2024 already. And we're going to be talking about a whole heap of other ridiculous things. Goes by quicker and quicker. And uh, really looking forward to uh, Taryn's deep dive with Cocaine Bear. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, we're waiting for Taryn to set a date for when that's happening. So stay tuned for that mike what yeah. else is coming up for you well uh, unfortunately i will be attending taryn's funeral so i'll be indisposed <laughs> he did get mauled by cocaine bear uh halfway through the interview when he claimed a discrepancy that happened on the feed so yeah taryn thank you so much and my deepest condolences to you and yours but outside of that yes yeah, so to finish off the year uh taryn's not dead don't worry people okay stop it's putting on the black it's just yeah. a joke uh still still a great night uh so i have one more podcast in the hopper over on post show recaps we've been doing this whole month a bit of a tribute to the tv that has come and gone in 2023 uh through memorializing it through a bunch of our best of 2023 podcasts and we're gonna wrap things up with one big 
review show the best of 2023 the top 10 shows of 2023 as voted on by the listeners of post show recaps at the time we're talking you still have a couple days to do that if you want to go to postshowrecaps.com slash 2023 survey you can fill that out uh, and give your top 10 tv shows of the year maybe some that we talked about in this very podcast might get mentioned so i'll be listing out your top 10 tv shows as voted by the listeners and then once the calendar rolls into 2024, Rob, I immediately start to squirry like that squirrel that Travis Kelsey once fed back in 2011 in one of his memorialized tweets. I will be getting into the cast of Survivor 46. Of course, the season is premiering February 28th. I'm assuming we're going to get the cast released at least a few weeks before that. I got to go out to Fiji, one of the highlights of this year, to interview the cast in person. So you'll get the result of all of those interviews with this very, very fun cast that honestly makes this Brain Steel cast look a little tame. This cast may be the cocaine bear <laughs> of Survivor. Wow. Cast. So uh, I don't want to hype it up too much, but we'll see about that. And then, of course, The Amazing Race 36 will come around and push our recaps. I'm doing coverage of Fargo. We took a brief break from Battlestar Galactica. That's a tongue twister. And I'll also be covering a true, true Detective Night Country. That's a show that's coming back. True Detective in 2024. Who would have thought yep. that? And I'm sure more stuff to come. Maybe a couple of ideas in the works to start things up. But we're in a little bit of like a purgatorial period before reality TV starts anew. Of course, I am on Cameo and on all social media platforms at a Mike Bloom type. Okay. Um, this was uh, my big podcast for the week this week, other than every day this week, as uh, Chappelle and I are getting close to wrapping up Suits Yourself. Uh, we are only uh, about uh, seven or eight days uh, or podcasts away from completing our daily recaps of Suits. So check that out. If you're uh, looking for uh, jumping in here at the end, even if you didn't keep up with this the whole way through, you could do that at suitspodcast.com. And then next week, uh, I'm sure we will have a ton of more great stuff for you. Maybe we'll catch up with some of the Survivor 45 cast and everything else that we have coming up for you in January. But thank you so much. This was an incredible year for the podcast. Mike, great job here today. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye. Happy New